This universe is made of light and darkness. These ancient forces flow through all matter and energy in our solar system and beyond. But we haven't always known this. When the Traveler arrived in our solar system, they called it many things. A ship, a planet, a god. Its presence provoked and inspired great change. It terraformed several moons and planets. Our lifespans increased threefold. And we launched colony ships to settle worlds beyond our own. This was our golden age. But like all golden ages, it was doomed to collapse. The Traveler was pursued by an ancient enemy. A voice in the darkness. It found us. Humanity lost everything. With the last of its strength, the Traveler pushed back its enemy to create something new. The ghosts. In the dark times that followed the collapse, the ghosts chose the first light bearers. Immortal warriors gifted with the power of the Traveler's light. light. Humanity faced many threats in those days. Invaders from beyond our system arrived in droves. Pirates called the Fallen came to scavenge the remains of our Golden Age. The warlike Cabal came for our territory and resources for conquest. The Hive, ravenous worshippers of death, came to feed their infernal hunger. And the Vex, strange living machines, came to recreate our world in their own brutal image. We fought with each other as well. For a time, chaos reigned. Though in the end, we came together to rebuild, to heal. We built a city under the Traveler, the last safe city of Earth. In this city, humanity lived peacefully in all its forms. The humans, Earth's original inhabitants, the Exos, marvels of the Golden Age, and the Awoken, a people touched by both light and dark. Light bearers took an oath to protect the last city over the centuries, they earned the title Guardians. Guardians. The Titans, paragons of strength and bravery. The Warlocks, mage scholars trained in the arcane arts. And the Hunters, bold adventurers gifted with cunning. Guardians know that when they stand together, they are stronger. And now, new threats use our own powers against us. The Black Fleet closes in, edging us toward a second collapse. And our greatest adversary, the voice in the darkness, is revealed. A being of unimaginable power. A witness. But all is not lost. Brand new guardians rise every day to shape the future of our solar system and beyond.
Uh, when I think about being the guardian, I think about being part of a fire team. Uh, for me specifically, I think about being a fire team leader. I think about not only being a fire team leader for my friends, but also for my family. So many of my friends trust me with their guardians. There you go. Very good. Very good. Oh, oh, you just killed your dad. The teamwork that really pays off, especially after a long period of hard work, to come in clutch in the big moments. I've been able to pass along my love of destiny to so many friends, also to my family been able to game with my daughter. To be able to guide little lights is, is truly a treasure. But to me, the most important part of being a guardian is being kind to everyone that we meet. Your kindness and joy may spark hope in a darkness zone where light is fading away. one of my most favorite memories with them so far is Valid Disciple Contest Mode. It's my very first time even doing day one raid. And uh, it was, we didn't get it, but it was a good time. Um, yeah, through, through my clan, they've helped me become a better person, a more confident person, a more confident player, and I wouldn't be the same without them. Destiny ha sido una increíble experiencia y me ha ayudado a escapar de mi realidad. Acá muchos me conocen por mi apodo, Deus. Y gracias a este personaje he sido capaz de hacer incontables amigos, vivir experiencias inolvidables y atesorar también momentos dentro de la comunidad. Para mí el juego es más que simplemente lo que se ve en pantalla. Han sido las personas, las actividades, los hitos como jugador incluso, y la experiencia y todo este sueño y e historia que hemos construido en el que hay un desarrollo de personaje.
Hi, my name is Lillian. I go by Lily Bean Cosplay on Instagram, and I've been doing Destiny cosplay for six years. I started playing Destiny in late 2015, and I just fell in love with the designs, the characters in the game, and I went to a local convention dressed as my hunter. From then, I kind of just wanted to keep going. I did a House of Winter Fallen Drag, the Sweeperbot, Soraya Hawthorne, Anna Bray, my hunter character from Destiny 2. It always has to do with a character that I'm drawn to in some way from a design standpoint. If it's a character that has a bunch of LEDs or you know, moving arms or something, I look at it and say, how can I make this? Because I want to learn from it. I want to diversify my skill set with my Spider's Associate costume. That's like a fully immersive costume. I can't see my face, I'm wearing a helmet, and I have two extra arms. Savathun was part of the Cosplay Cosmodrome event that Bungie did for Bungie Day, and being able to take a character whose design I wasn't super familiar with yet and create it in real life and then wear it, it was great. <laughs> There's so many different groups within the Destiny community. You have artists, you have musicians, streamers, gamers, and I think that's really special just to be able to show, like, this is what inspires me and this is what I'm going to do to show that it inspires me. I'm Dan, aka the Rat King's crew. I've been playing Bungie games since Marathon 2, and I've been playing Destiny since it launched. I'm so happy to be part of such a creative and passionate community, and I can't wait to see what Destiny is going to do next. for somebody who's played from D1 to D2, what makes a guardian is someone who, against all odds, keeps pushing forward, always making the advance, always moving forward. I was introduced to the game by a bunch of friends, uh, military law enforcement. Uh, I'm in the public safety field. Don't have a lot of time to play, but when I play, play hard. Uh, long story short, a lot of those folks either got deployed, 
uh, went to other jobs or I just didn't really see them anymore. Complained about the content and not having it vast. I've learned from D1 to D2, the game has definitely grown. And me as a diehard guardian, I keep pushing forward because I have the confidence and the ability to see what's happening. And now here we are still playing. I'm Steve Saylor, aka Blind Gamer Steve. I'm a content creator and accessibility advocate and consultant in the video game industry. My name is T, T Morris. Uh, people call me T, they call me T Monster. I also go by Twitch Dad. <laughs> When I started uh, looking into wanting to stream, I had known this dude here for about, like, I think about 10 years at that point. And so I reached out to him. I was like, hey, you know what? I know you play Destiny. W like, would you be cool kind of uh, helping me and guiding me through, through the game? I've never played it before. This is when I gave you a, a little bit of honesty. I said, are you sure you want me because <laughs> <laughs> you, if you see me play, so you know how bad my aim is, it'll be the blind leading the blind. And, and he went, that's, oh, that's what we'll call it. All right, there's the traveler. There's the traveler Ooh. in front of us. Let's go. Walk forward. Walk forward. I want you to enjoy this. As someone who has a disability where it affects my vision and it is hard for me to be able to play games in general, having someone take the time and guide me through being able to play a game and, and not try to rush me through things, that meant the world to me. Where's that? All right. Oh, there, there he is. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! In any other game, it's usually people don't want to play with a disabled person, whereas with Destiny, I can jump in with T, I can jump in with, with my friends, and even when we just jump in with random blueberries in, in, in the community, we can still be able to help each other out, and that's why I love Destiny. Did you shoot my friend? That was a bad choice. It's all about being able to reach out and pick someone up and being like, we can do this together. And that is being a hero, It's being able to lift everyone else up. It's not about you, it's about the fire team. That's what makes a good guardian, is when it's about reaching the end goal and reaching it together.
Hello, Guardians. I hope you are all doing well. Happy Bungie Day. Here's my ideas of me being a Guardian in Destiny. I started playing Destiny in Destiny when, when the game first came out. I was a Hunter main back then. Now I'm a proud Titan main. My favorite moments of Destiny will be my first ever raid that I've covered an LFG group and the friends and clan mates that I met and play with to this day. I'm Gray, or Gamer Girl Gray. I am an Indian American content creator and community builder on Twitch with the motto Gaming for a Greater Good. I started my gaming journey in 2014 when two of my best friends gifted me my first Xbox. And I distinctly remember finding Destiny and staying up the entire night to play the game. No, no, get me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not dead yet. I found a place where I could be myself without any fear of being treated differently for who I was, how I looked, how I sounded. No, 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 you gotta be kidding me, bro. When I came out to my community, it was such a monumental feeling for me to be able to see all these people flock together to make me feel welcome and safe and included. That was a feeling that I want to share with other people, this safe space. The charities are honestly a very big part of my stream because I see my content as a means to an end to fight for what's good in the world. No, God, please help me. No, oh. Building a happy corner of the internet is just about being able to lift people up in the few hours that they spend with me, creating something that people feel comfortable in. They feel like they can be their authentic selves in. This game and this community constantly reminds me that we're not guardians just in name. We truly are bearers of light.
being a guardian to me has shown me how important it is to stand up for what's right and to defend those who are oppressed and marginalized, just like Bungie continues to do every single day. So thank you, Bungie, for being real life guardians to me and everyone else across the world. The way that you stand up for social justice issues and make sure that everyone in your circle is loved and cared for is truly inspiring. I know that it dictates the way that I live my life on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you so much and eyes up guardians. My name is Xavier, but you guys probably know me as Solar Flare. I make 3D animated skits based off of content in the Destiny universe. Prepare to return to being a god-killing, time-breaking, paracausal space cowboy. At first I created content that I thought was creative, stuff you hadn't seen before, things that would be funny situations, but I didn't know how to produce them. One of my friends suggested to me this program called Blender, and so I tried to learn it myself. I taught myself, I made a video. Solar Flare was the main character, and it went from just being the channel name to being the name of sort of who I am at this point. Okay, hey guys, we have to be careful. Someone here is possessed by an owl. Who? That's the thing, we don't... Usually, it's around 2 a.m. when I'm trying to go to sleep. My brain says, hey, it would be really cool if we went to sleep. But instead, what if we thought about a new video to create? <laughs> hey, Bobby! Hey, Steven! The future for solar, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm working on a script and a whole plot, a series of, of videos. I'm really excited to create an actual cohesive storyline. So, turns out, Aldrin's sister was actually an evil possessed meatball that was controlled by a magical space dragon that was actually controlled by a hive queen. The Destiny community feels like a group of friends that you may not live in the same area, but every time you go back, it's like you never left. When you get to know the people that you're spending your time with, not only does it make every moment with them more valuable, but also you might find yourself going to one of their weddings five years from now just because you decided to send them a friend request after they danced with you in a Crucible match. Are you really going to tell me that looks more like the letter V than a slice of pizza? He ate pepperoni! It blows me away just how dedicated people are to creating things in this community. It's just, it's just so cool to see how passionate people are about all of it.
here's a guy, Savage Universe, who's been in the Destiny community for like eight years running, probably considered now a Maria, considered a veteran. And the fact that, you know, back in you know, July 2014, I was curious about the game. I was curious about it and you know, very interested to see what this game, you know, whether this is the game for me. And then to to get you know, get to a point where I would, you know, get so many dungeon clears, raid clears, go you know, flawless to the point where I even solo flawless trials. That was two two or so weeks ago. And then to meet friends like Vixen, Tony, Lovely Low Live. So and then to be a mod for Miss Keller, because she's awesome. Um to to have all of that in like eight years, I wouldn't even believe you back then, but here we are. Still living the Guardian life. Amen. Hey, soy Colossus. Desde mis inicios como guardián hace ya 7 años, jamás creí que llegaría tan lejos. He puesto fin a incontables amenazas y he conseguido las armas más exóticas. También he explorado el sistema solar durante años en busca de las respuestas más enigmáticas. Y aunque las encontrara, seguía faltándome algo. Hasta que lo encontré. ¿Sabéis qué forja verdaderamente a un guardián? Los compañeros que están a tu lado en cada aventura. Ya sea tu escuadra o tu clan, ser guardián va más allá de uno mismo. Yo junto a mi clan he hecho de todo, desde partidas privadas que acaban en carcajadas, hasta culminar una incursión en su modo 24 horas. Si no fuera por ellos, yo no estaría aquí. Es por eso que mi mejor momento en Destiny fue encontrar a mi clan, ya que, a partir de ahí, mi destino tuvo sentido.
want to say one of my biggest memories about playing Destiny happens to be the raids and a lot of the friends that I made that I've made along the way. Vogue is my favorite raid, and when it came out, I was ecstatic. Uh, again, happy Bungie Day to everybody, and hope everyone's having a great one, and I'll see you in the stars. Hey everybody, I'm Tej, and I'm a Guardian. What makes me feel most like a Guardian is being able to be me. We all choose to represent ourselves in different ways, and when you learn about someone's Guardian and the legend that they've written for themselves, it teaches you something beautiful about them. I strive to create a space online through content creation that people can just come as they are, and we can all just celebrate in this beautiful world that Bungie's created for us. There's something really amazing about being able to connect with people through a shared interest without the fear or anxiety that comes with thinking that you have to be something you're not, or thinking that you have to conform to a certain ideal or worldview in order to be respected or loved. So I hope that on this Bungie Day, we all can remember what it means to be a guardian. We all can remember to rally around each other, to show the love, spread the good vibes, and push back the darkness. I'll see you out there. In a world 
where you rescue heroes from other timelines and brawl worm gods with your bare hands. It's a battle of light versus dark, monsters versus metal, everyone versus Telesto, in a lore-rich universe with an abundance of adventure and exploring. But that's not just why we play, is it? Believe me, nightmare hunts give me quite the adrenaline rush, but my Twitter mention suggests you expect more. So did you keep playing for the life-changing god rolls? Or the Mile High Sparrow Flying? The Nessus Frogs? The day one raid nights with your friends where you spend eight hours and still don't know what you're doing? The Nessus Frogs? You must have had some inspiration, right? Probably the creators and streamers that helped you forget that time you dropped your pizza, cheese side down. Or was it the people creating a Destiny universe of their own with stories, art, and literally dressing for the job they want? Maybe you're here for the intellectual discussion, or maybe you're here for the space horse. Maybe you're here for the Destiny creators you love so much, Bungie actually got one to do this video. Hi, Mom and Dad. What I'm trying to say is, Destiny 2 is so much more than the game we see in trailers. While many joined for the fantasy, we found a home amongst its people. And in the end game, we stayed for the discos, the DPS, the grenades, the bad bubbles, burgers, and tannics behind every corner. Trombone medleys, laser tag, tower names, yeehaws, the dings, the punts, the clutcher kicks, sweeper bots, stasis crystals, cheese spots, raid callouts, pub stomp, ramen, sliding, chicken petting, galahorn, sepix prime, shiny swords, titan. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we are so excited to dive in and talk about just the kind of journey of being a massive Destiny and Bungie fan and what that's like to go from massive fan to actually working at the company that we loved so much. I wanna learn about your, your journeys. How did you get started playing as a player, not as somebody who works here, playing Destiny and, and kind of how has that relationship with the game evolved through the years? Mm -hmm. You know what, T, you and I, we've had many conversations, <laughs> we're yeah. session. Yeah. I wanna hear from you, buddy. Uh, so I've been playing the game for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, as, as proof of my, uh, you know, you, the D1 Alpha Veteran status, I have my raid belt here today. Uh, <sighs> So uh, this is this is my cringe moment yeah, where I will be it's proud. It's nice to see one in person. I've <laughs> only seen it on like screens and like screenshots. Well, tell, tell us so. a little bit about it. Like, how'd you get it? When'd you get it? Oh, so uh, that is <laughs> that is the King's Fall World's first belt. Uh, me and my five friends, we has to, uh, I say used to have, but I, I think we probably still have it. Uh, world's first of fun. Like whenever we were doing world's first races, it was supposed to be about having fun and showing off the new stuff. Uh, and for me, I always loved raiding just because like I'm a problem solver by heart. Like that's also why I love working here because that's what I do is I just kind of solve problems that are really complicated. Yeah. That's really exhilarating. And now is very fun <laughs> uh, being able to watch others suffer for 24 hours. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Because it's it is exhausting. Uh, so if you if you are if you are listening to this and you are and you are raiding or if you're planning on raiding for a long time, uh, drink water, stretch, bathroom break, don't Please. die, yes. bathroom Please. breaks. Please, thank you. Breaks. <laughs> yeah. Don't let that heart rate get too. Old. I'm very much with Sam on on this in terms of like the loving the problem solving and loving to get into that. I really fell in love with Destiny when I started raiding, and that was like my moment where I was like. I grew up playing puzzle games and mystery games and like I love those types of games and to find that in Destiny and to find that same sort of like problem solving but to do it with a team and to do it with your friends. I'm on the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm totally on the same page. <laughs> like the, the number one story for me around that is definitely Deep Stone. Deep oh, Stone, like I played all the way through so Deep good. Stone with my clan, which was amazing. When you look back at the history of Destiny, there's so many moments like that. And I'm kind of I'm kind of interested on is there any characters or story moments that really stick out to you from our history? I feel like that's Destiny at its best, is like yeah. when you are learning from it. Yes. Like at least for me, I feel like the journey of Eris. Yeah. From like D1 and being like, who are you? What are yeah. you doing here? This is so, weird like, chick. Yeah, it's like <laughs> super creepy. Face. Right. Yeah, what's going on? yeah but I, I think like seeing where she is now and then how she's like really helped everyone else. Like a lot of people, I'm a huge Zavala fan. I'm a Titan. It's just like in my yeah, blood. <laughs> so like for me, like seeing Eris like help all of these different characters, seeing Zavala come from where he is, which a lot of people, again, I, I know some folks that don't really like him that much, but to me, he always just seemed like a, a really, you know, a father figure who's trying his best for everyone. 
uh, you know, when Katie died, right? I think like, you know, people were like, what? Like Zavala, why aren't you doing this? X, Y, Z. Uh, and then we got to learn more about him. So for me, Zavala is like number one, that, like that his whole character arc and then Eris and like her character arc, you're all insufferable to then like teaching everybody how to deal with their demons. Yeah. I think it's- Pops the narrative Kind of crazy. Incredible. Speaking to now and like through season 17, how Eris, she's like one of the epitomes of grief in her whole story and how she evolved to something where she's like, I had to learn how to deal with grief on my own. Mm -hmm. And to see her evolve to a character that is like helping people go through their own grief. It's Bungie, what the heck? Like, how do you do and this? And how like, patient she was. Like the fact that like when Crow would stumble or Zavala would stumble, she'd be like, come, take a yeah. step back. Patience, healing doesn't happen overnight. And Exactly. I think what we've seen in the last couple of seasons of, of the incredible narrative team and, and just diving deeper into all of the characters, I think that's one of my favorite things that we've we've seen from the kind of expansion from where we started to where we're, we're at now is just that deeper dive. And I know kind of where we're going with things and just like the more that we're going to be able to dive into and, and hear characters' backstories and understand where they're coming from and what makes them, I think to everyone's point, it, it just makes it more than just a shooter game, you have that additional aspect of these incredible stories that we all connect with in different ways. And it just makes it, it's its the bungee magic, it's the space magic, it's the thing that like- that Then you do a little emote jig at the end. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it all somehow, and it all, all makes sense. It's called Glimmer Guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, how cool is it like that we're here now? And I'm, I'm kind of interested, like knowing your, your long relationship with this game before you even worked here, and then that we're sitting on this couch, getting to nerd out and talk about the things that we love the most. How has that been making that transition? What was that inspiration that drove you to be like, you know what? I'm gonna put my application in. We'll see what happens. Oh, this is my first gaming studio for sure. Yeah. It's a Getting into Bungie is interesting because I always wanted to be in tech. That's really where I started. For Destiny specifically, I played it every day, but I never really thought of it as a place to work um, until Black at Bungie. Uh, and so I reached out to a bunch of people on LinkedIn and was asking a bunch of questions. I was like, yeah, look, look, look. So it was really amazing to be able to like get into the industry and get into Bungie. Destiny for me was, uh, that was back when I was streaming for fun. It was just a hobby, but then it became just a lot more to me because it has all these things I love about games. Cause I love RPGs and I love, you know, like the, the game feel of a Bungie game, right? When like you, you, you shoot that gun for the first time and it just feels good, you know? Space magic. Space yeah. magic. Space magic. Space magic. <laughs> like, and, I, and I always play the wizard, so I played the warlock. <laughs> um, you know, because I, I, that's all I want to do. I just want to cast space magic in, in every game that I play. So to me, the game's a lot. Like it's kind of just, it gave me a career. Uh, it gave me like guidance in life for finding a community that I really love um, and how I'm, absurdly uh, thankful that I can be a part of the team and hopefully make the game better to hopefully have that kind of impact on somebody else. I knew that I wanted to work in gaming. I actually got the opportunity, not from the Bungie career website, but from a Twitter post um, from- <laughs> The tweet? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Twitter post. And I immediately sent a message and connected and I was like, I want to talk about these marketing opportunities. And now I'm and here. Now you're here. Now you're here. <laughs> you love to see it. So in it's ever in just even now just the fact that I'm sitting here, I'm just like. You shot your shot, oh dude. That's gosh. what life's about. Literally, I shot mm -hmm. my you shot. You shot like, your I'm shot. like, this is what they mean because you hear them throw that phrase around and you're just like, but what does it actually mean to shoot mm -hmm. your shot? And it's like, no, it's like you're not going to respond on Twitter. It's like, I'm gonna find you yeah. in other places. Even if you you're have those gonna moments of doubt. Chance. Even if you have that moment of fear, because sometimes to make a jump like that's scary. It's really mm -hmm. scary. If you're scared, Absolutely. do it anyway. Yeah. yeah. The leap into to Bungie was really similar to, to Will's story. This is my first role in gaming. So it was this like huge mm -hmm. leap to, I had been working in marketing for, for a long time, but my really wanted to make the switch to something that I'm really passionate about and something that I love, because I think that's what makes work so magical is when you get to work on something you really care about and you really, really love and you feel passionate about. So that for me was the kind of thing that pushed me towards shooting my shot and taking my shot a couple years ago and and, and making the switch over to, to Bungie. And it's it's been incredible. There's moments like this where it feels very surreal. Right? Where you're like, what is happening? This is very, very, just to have that like, we all work at Bungie now. Like we get to contribute to that thing that we all love so much. And that's incredible. 
I'm sorry, but that's a, such a good point because there's so many people that ask us like advice on how to get in mm -hmm. and I was rejected numerous times before finally getting that spot. <laughs> and you know, I know it breaks my heart because so many other people are in that same position yeah. and then they stop and they stop chasing that dream. Cause like, this isn't my first gaming job. I, I have, I've been working in this industry for almost 20 years and as a journalist, and it was really scary to make that jump. I, I just, I felt like it was right. I, I kept applying for narrative and you know, granted I sent them not appropriate fan fiction as record samples, so I get it. Like, no hard feelings, I get it. Uh, and they were like, you know, it was, it was just, they were like, hey, we think you'd be a good fit for community. Like, let's put you through that interview process. And, and we did mm -hmm. that and, and it was scary at first, but the more I kept interviewing, I was like, wait, no, this is, this was made for me. Like, this is what I was supposed to do. And it was funny because all of that trepidation that first week left because I, I felt like it was family. I'd like to think that Bungie gives space for that human condition, that human element. It's a place where I can feel like I can be myself. It's a place where I am uh, being taken care of. And I'd like to think that, you know, we're not perfect and there's things we can improve upon, but we try to talk about those things. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. It was honestly so much fun just diving into your stories a little bit, not just like as devs and working on Bungie's side, but as players before that and the journey into that. I'm really also excited for the upcoming showcase. So I'm gonna need you all to meet me Matt, in the back. We're gonna do a blanket yes. burrito and we're gonna hunker down with some popcorn, okay? <laughs> Let's, go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. I'm so right ready. Now, blanket, I'm excited. Blanket burrito, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> blanket burrito. All right. Comfort, we're Let's both comfort it. here at Bungie. <laughs> Hello, old friend. Oh! What? They like corrupted gold. No. Super. That's all I want in Destiny. I want darkness. I just got chills. This is everything I've ever wanted out of the story. Multiple G-Ports. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Boom! Damn. Rogue is nasty, son. Your life is full fit. No! Ooh. The Leviathan is back. The Scythe? A freaking Scythe! Where is Kallus? He has given himself over to the witness. Yay! That was hot. Sir, are you okay? Oh, sh you look nasty. <laughs> what the freak? Is that the witness? Man, that's crazy! Welcome, Guardians. So awesome to be here with you again. Last time we got up here, we got a chance to show you Savathun, the Witch Queen, and her majestic throne world. Since then, it's been a wild year for Destiny. You returned to the original Loot Cave to reclaim the fabled Gallarhorn. Then, you exorcised an ancient evil from a Hive Queen, so you could put it inside a grenade launcher. <laughs> And now, you've been spending the past few weeks cleansing a derelict leviathan from its twisted nightmares. In fact, the last year has been the best year we've ever had in the Destiny community. I hope you can feel it as well. And seeing this kind of reaction from our community, it's both humbling and inspiring. Because our team here at Bungie, we're not just developers, we're also guardians. We're trying to build what we'd love to play in Destiny, and that's what brought each one of us here brought us not only to Bungie, but also brought all of us to this final showdown between light and darkness. So, without further ado, this is the beginning of the end. This is Lightfall. Yes. 
only in the end. I've seen that thing a hundred times now, and every time <laughs> I see it, I still kind of get goosebumps. Instantly, I had chills. It's all here, it's all happening now. Things are finally coming to a head. Thematically, we, we really have been honing in on that kind of bombastic, big set piece approach. It's gonna be over the top action, adrenaline pumping, like the whole time. This is really kicking off the conclusion to the light and dark saga where we finally face down this foe that we've been anticipating facing for so long. It's pushing it to 11. We've been hinting at this malicious force in the darkness that's been our enemy behind a lot of our conflicts. We revealed that enemy, we put a name on it and put a face on it, and that enemy is the witness. And the witness is coming with its newly empowered disciple, Callus. Callus is really crash landing with a new and more powerful army than ever before. They've got new powers, they've got new armor, they've got tormentors to join their ranks that are gonna be bigger and better enemies than we've ever faced. Callus is taking that army that he's bringing with him to be the harbinger of the witness's doom. This is such a pivotal moment for Destiny. Everyone is coming to have a last stand with Callus and the Witness to really avoid the next collapse, something that we've been trying to avoid ever since Destiny 1. We see in the trailer that we're headed to Neptune, and on Neptune there's been this hidden city called Neomuna where an alternate version of humanity has been blooming since the collapse. Neomuna is the capital city of Neptune. It's a giant metropolis that we were completely unaware existed until now. What's interesting and exciting to me about this place is that it's pristine, it's new. It's not like a lot of the places that we've explored previously in Destiny. Exploring that space is very, very cool. There's so much new stuff to discover in Neomuna and in Neptune. And also I saw some new characters there. I'm really excited to get to know Cloud Striders and their story. Cloud Striders can be compared to Guardians. They're both protectors of a civilization that's potentially under threat. But Guardians were chosen it's their duty to protect humanity. Cloud Striders have chosen to protect their people. There's like an awesome opportunity for the Guardians to learn from the Cloud Striders and their way of living and their philosophy of life. So we've got the newness of that city, the newness of the Cloud Striders that we've never been aware of. And then of course you get a glimpse of this green energy. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Strand is the new darkness power that we discover here. Something that's unique about Strand, unlike any of these other powers we've ever had before, when you play through Lightfall, you are discovering this power for the first time. No one in the universe ever in the history of Destiny has used Strand before. This is the Guardian discovering darkness on their own and learning how to shape it and manipulate it and use it against Kallus and his forces and, you know, have fun in the new urban environment of, of Neomuna. You are really gonna have to prepare yourself for a wild ride. We just got a glimpse of our new destination, Neomuna, our new foe. Callus and the Shadow Legion paired with the Witness and a very brief glimpse at Strand, but that's just barely scratching the surface of what this release has to offer. Right, like wh what we've just seen in that trailer is just the tip of the iceberg, and we've got a whole lot more we're excited to show you coming up. Last year, we wanted to return to our studio's roots in creating some of the best shooter campaigns in the industry. That's been our legacy since Halo and we tried to push that front and center in The Witch Queen. And it's about more than just guns, but creating an adventure in a handcrafted world full of surprises. Then we added the legendary campaign option, because great combat needs to challenge you to test your thumb skill, your tactics, and your build crafting. And we heard loud and clear that you want more of that. In fact, two out of every three players that completed The Witch Queen campaign did it on legendary. 
You tested yourself against the Witch Queen in her loosened hive and rose to that challenge. And then you let us know it was one of the best shooter experiences that we've ever made. So with Lightfall, we want to push that even further. We want to give you the best bungee action experience that we can create with the brand new Lightfall campaign. Lightfall is going to change the way that our players move, fight, and explore everywhere in Destiny. Neptune is this fantastic destination. The capital city of Neomuna is a really fun place to explore. And it's this bright neon metropolis. There's a harbor, office buildings, an arcade. This is a city that we've made. And using Strand to traverse through it and explore it, it's going to be so exciting. There's some places that once you whip out that grappling hook, ooh, you're going to be able to explore and get to places that you couldn't before. Look at that up there. I wonder if I can grapple to there. I'm going to be a kid in a candy store. It's not a city that is collapsed. It is a city that has lived through the collapse. Neptune now has to deal with the cloak being pulled back and then being revealed to the world and are now central of the conflict. Callus has taken his capital ship and just like planted it right down in part of the city and it's cabal occupied territory. It's a city under siege. You've got this infiltrator vibe at times where you feel like a tactical team going into a skyscraper. You're dealing with cabal roadblocks and patrols all throughout the city. The Shadow Legion, they provide that like characteristic cabal brute strength. They're all about like volatility and power. And they've been enhanced now by pyramid technology. They have these suppression devices that can take away some of your super, take away some of your abilities. And then they fight alongside these terrifying new pyramid units called Tormentors. As part of his discipleship to the Witness, Callus has been upgraded. And so the Tormentors that they've brought in are these impossibly huge, unstoppable behemoths. They wield scythes, they can attack from a distance, they can bring you in close, they can drain your very life force from you. They are basically embodiments of terror. It's like a boss character within the battlefield. Your stomach drops. You're like, okay, I'm playing through, I'm having fun, I'm popping heads, doing this thing, and then boom, there it is. We've got all the new stuff going into the game, Strand, Tormentors, Shadow Legion, a cool new environment. These are all a great setting for a new legendary campaign, and we're still making sure that we go through and we tweak and tune and we balance the encounters to have that right challenging level of difficulty for players. The legendary campaign was a huge hit coming out of the Witch Queen. It was the first time we had done that sort of elected difficulty where you could really test your skill and test your power. And so we're going to bring that back for Lightfall. Of course, you're still going to have that higher reward tier, and we still want to make sure that you get that inside track towards being raid ready. Everyone back in the studio is so hard at work on Lightfall, putting in the details and making this whole release come alive and continue to surprise and delight players. I am so excited to get this out. Lightfall is unlike anything players have seen before in Destiny and it's another step that sends you hurtling to the conclusion of the light and dark saga. Come on. Amazing. I'm super excited to dive into Strand and talk about all the new stuff that we just saw. Strand, like Stasis, is a power from the darkness. Unlike our light abilities, which are all about creation, darkness is more about consciousness. Strand is psychic energy that forms this extra dimension, or this sort of matrix that connects everything together, connects all living beings and all minds. And you, the Guardian, are sort of gaining the knowledge and gaining the power to peer into this alternate psychic universe and begin to pull at these threads and tug at these wires that are connecting all these living beings. When guardians learn how to use Strand, it's almost like this third eye opens up. It's about peeling back the curtain of reality, taking those connections and then weaving them into new objects. Yeah, and it's pretty cool to see them come together. Like, it's always been there. And now that we can tap into it, we can use it for our benefit, whether it's through movement or through damage. Strand has a grappling hook. Since you're seeing into this cosmic web, 
you are able to grapple at any point because the cosmic web exists everywhere. Even if there's not an object there, it will hook on to that web and pull you forward. It's just taking that idea to the next level, yeah. putting that, uh, that the destiny, destiny spin, spin on it. Yep. The grappling hook initially started as part of the hunter's kit, right? They're all about fluid movement, rapidly traversing space and being very agile. But as we were developing, it's like, oh man, it's this feels like it's too much fun to, to just keep it to one class, right? So we made the call to expand the super cool new ability across all three classes. On the design side, we wanted to come up with how each of the classes interpreted this additional psychic dimension like in their own way, right? So the Warlock, they're the telekinetic master of Strand. So they're going to be able to telepathically reach into the Strand dimension, pull matter out, and weave it into this big barrage of these Strand missiles. Wherever they land, these missiles are actually going to unravel, sort of reweave themselves into a new form. With the Titan, you're able to weave these claws and do an area of damage around you spinning and slashing. The super I think I'm most excited for is the Hunter Rope Dart Super. The Hunter does a flip and weaves these strands into this rope dart and is swinging it as they're kind of moving around. The first time I saw that, even in its kind of like rough state, it just blew my mind. We've learned a lot from creating our other subclasses, and we've taken those learnings about combat, about movement, about build crafting. We've put that all into Strand, and I'm so excited to see where players take it once it's out there in the wild. Destiny is a game that gets even better when you play with your friends. We want to create communities that are welcoming, inclusive, and they'll let you bring your old friends and make new ones. And since last year, over 5 million new Guardians have joined our ranks. We believe that there are still millions more of your friends that would love to play Destiny with you. And the things that you want to see us improve in Destiny are also exactly what's going to make it easier to convince your friends to come and check out the game. It should be easier to create custom, incredible builds. Easier to find people to play with. Easier to swap from being that boss-melting, storm-chaser-wielding, falling star juggernaut right into that ultimate yee-hawing, dead man's tail shooting, Titan's rampart crutching sentinel. And if none of what Joe just said makes sense to you, we want to fix that too. Because it's not about removing the depth that makes Destiny so great. It's instead about allowing everyone to dive deeper with ease. The changes we're making to make Destiny easier to come into, changes to how you build your characters, changes to how you see what there is to do and what there is to accomplish. And in the year ahead, we're actually making it easier to form groups in Destiny so you can go and do some of the greatest content that Destiny has to offer. All the teams are working together to build this experience, and so that's what's really exciting. We keep on hearing from players like, hey, unless I have a friend to play with, I don't know what to do. And so what we're trying to give them is like, hey, here's a path to follow. Guardian ranks are this, like, this basically like a knowledge ladder. We actually progress you through 11 ranks, and it's really like heavily focusing on like exposing players to all the systems of destiny. At some point, the story about you as a guardian involves other guardians and what they think about you. That is just a whole new dimension of your journey through destiny that we've never really explored before. When you show up in the tower and you see that person who's at one of the highest ranks, you're gonna know that you're looking at a player who's actually really demonstrated mastery of many of the different activities in destiny, not just from our perspective, but from the perspective of other players. Some of the higher Guardian ranks will actually be asking for you to step up, to actually rise to the occasion and prove to other Guardians that you are a strong player and a strong leader. A lot of people have groups that they already play with, but this will really provide people the opportunity to be recognized for helping other people learn the game, but also provide more people to play with on a regular basis. 
In the year of Lightfall, we're going to actually be investing in building a looking for group system in Destiny itself. You'll be able to look for other players, you'll be able to find groups that are looking for players. I'm so excited about being able to form groups in the next coming year because it can be really hard to get through some of the hard content solo and making it so much easier to find people to play with is just gonna make getting into Destiny and doing the awesome content so much easier. Yeah, and they'll be able to say, this is a player who I can trust to lead me through the new raid. I want to join their group. Or they can say, these are players who are new to the activity. I want to take them for that first raid because that'll be a great experience for them and a valuable experience for me as a leader. It's really going to help players come together and understand each other better when they've never met before. It's going to make the game so much more social and I think that it's going to really make Destiny players feel like they're on one team. So commendations is a feature that you'll experience towards the end of an activity. So you end the activity now and you get to see the screen that has all the people you played with. You can click on one of the guardians and choose what experience you had with them. So like, were they a good team player? Were they fun to play with? There's no better way to actually show how good a person is as a teammate or as a leader than to have other players say, this person's a great teammate, this person's a great leader. It's really a system that's designed to let players show appreciation for each other. Also using the commendation system, people are going to be able to say like, hey, this person as a good leader and, and looking at the guardian rank system, they have a lot of experience. It's gonna be, oh, that's the person I want to help me get through this hard content that I've been struggling with. Social games like Destiny give you an opportunity to like really connect with other people and do things together and get to know each other. And with a system like LFG, you're making it so that more people can get that experience started than ever before. Both the loadout screen and the mod manager are completely new features. The mod manager is meant to make build construction Destiny a lot easier. We all love our fashion game. The fashion game's amazing. And so we're gonna take what we did for the fashion game and we're bringing it to the build craft game. There's gonna be one screen where you can go to and do your entire loadout for your character. It's gonna be amazing. So you'll be able to save the build that you've put together as a loadout and then switch between those things as you're going from activity to activity. Yeah, I feel like with the new release Destiny and the accommodation system mixed with Guardian Ranks, we're giving players even new aspirations. It isn't going to be just about power level. It won't just be about gear. It's also going to be about that Guardian Rank. It's going to be about those commendations. It's all the ways that we're bringing players together. So today, we are also launching a brand new season of Destiny 2. And as we've evolved our seasons over the years, we've learned a lot. And I think we've been able to deliver some amazing character moments and events for the community. We're long past the era of content droughts. Instead, there are exciting story and events happening in Destiny almost every week, year round. And we're not slowing down. Each season, we want to keep raising the bar for narrative experiences in any live game. We want to keep pushing to create unexpected adventures that'll make every season of Destiny unique. And we want to keep listening and learning from you, the Destiny community, so that we can create the strongest seasons of any live service. Because the witness is coming. And if we want to survive, we need a crew. We need to enrich our defenses. If you're feeling surly, maybe even loot our enemies. We may even need to find a captain to join us on our next adventure in the season of plunder. Aramis has broken free. The old crews now rally under her command. I've read about them. It's the, what is the human word? Pirates. The full vanguard should be rallied to deal with these. Outlaws. Well, anchors away. Now go show those pirates what happens when they cross Spider-Head. Hope you've got ammunition, Guardian. Time to blow this rickety barge.
Sorry, getting a little swept up in all this adventure. What are you most excited about for Season of Plunder? Pirates. <laughs> This season we said, what if we just go to the stars and dig up buried treasure? We are unearthing a lot of mysteries and secrets. We're swashbuckling onto enemy spaceships. And then we're also learning a lot of things about some of our favorite characters. We're gonna have an adventure this season. Season of Plunder kicks off with Aramis being freed from her icy prison. She's collected old fallen crews of pirates and rogue cabal together in order to hunt down mysterious relics and treasures. It's time to meet your end. So guardians are tasked with stopping Aramis from collecting these relics. And in order to do that, you have to create your own crew of shady dealers and backroom brokers. Drifter, Mithrax, Ido, and Spider are going to be helping you. Anchors away. Ready when you are, Captain. That's the beginning of Season of Plunder. What you're going to be doing is forming a pirate crew of your own. You're going to fill it with different crew members that you can recruit over the course of the season. Drifter is going to toss you the keys to your personal catch. Then you're just going to set out into the stars and do cool pirate stuff. I'm so excited. <laughs> This season, we have multiple brand new activities coming that will really give you a sense of being on a pirate adventure. One of the mainstays of this season is a new six-player offensive called Catch Crash. When I saw the concept for the catch with the big main sails on it, I just said, oh my god, this is going to be a fun season. Just like seeing Catch Crash through the different iterations, like fighting on the deck of the ship. You get to become your own ammunition and launch yourself from a cannon to the other ship, and you are the weapon, so <laughs> you're gonna go mess them up. The second big activity we have coming this season is called Expedition. You're gonna be guiding a massive drill that's looking for this buried, hidden pirate treasure, and you're gonna have to be fending off of all these pirate crews trying to protect their hordes. And then our final new activity coming this season is what we're calling pirate hideouts. We have so many like different little maps that you can piece together fragments of this season, and they lead you to the lair of the pirate lord, right? Their hideout. These are their, their caves where they're hoarding all of their amazing treasures and their mysterious relics. These relics are mysterious objects of dark power, and they're all over the system. We don't know exactly what it is they do yet, but if Aramis is trying to collect them, it's nothing good. Taking the opportunity to line the Arc 3.0 update with the Fallen, it just went up working out perfectly because you got all the simple Arc weaponry and the Arc shielded captains. It feels right with that release, almost like we planned it. Arc is a damage type that's about proximity, right? It's about going fast up into your enemy's faces and like deleting them. It's the the damage type for people that want to hold W. You don't want to retreat. Unbridled aggression to the max. Hunter is really about close range action, being fluid and dynamic and, and agile, evasive. So we're going to give Arc Hunter a new super. Uh, we call it Gathering Storm, where you summon your Arc Staff, like twirl it above your head and then launch it out. And then it will embed into the ground or into like bosses or mini bosses or champions and jolt them. Like a big lightning strike will strike the staff and overcharge it. And while that staff is overcharged, it'll start Tesla coiling little lightning bolts out at nearby enemies. Warlock is kind of this elemental conduit. You are a class that will turn yourself into lightning. You will create things out of lightning. Previously, you know, we had this exotic armor piece called Getaway Artist, where you consume your grenade and it'll make a, a what we call a sentient arc soul that fires faster uh, and, and does more damage as a result. So we decided to roll that into base arc soul behavior. Anytime you are amplified, any arc soul you have from any source will become the supercharged version yeah. that will fire off just rapid fire bolts. Titan's about being this unstoppable freight train. It's about this constant movement. So we gave Titans a new movement option, something that we felt like is gonna be competitive in this new environment of air dodges and air slams. That's a new ability called Thruster. And it's all in first person. It's all very much in the heat of the moment. You see it happen. Its whole property is like rush down or get away. It's a movement tool to the max. 
there's gonna be this new melee ability called Thunderclap, which is like an amazing thing where he like charges his fist all super flashy. It's our first ever charge melee. So you hold down the button and as that cocks back and charges up, you'll end up doing more damage and getting a little bit more range. And speaking of like the whole goal of deleting things, I believe in PVP, a full charge is a one-shot kill. It is, oh yeah. It's, it's a little skillful to like pull off because you're gonna have to really read your opponent here. The whole through line with Ark is like, it really isn't that complicated. It's move fast, hit hard, and stay alive. What I'm most excited about in Season of Plunder is that this is really a season that has a sense of adventure. Yeah. You're, you're exploring the system, you're looking for pirate treasure, pirate relics. You're seeing the world evolve in a way we haven't done before. I love that with the activities in the season, like we just leaned really hard into the pirate fancies. I love that we have your own catch. I love that you're tracking down buried treasure and then going after the pirate leaders in their caves. The interesting thing about Destiny is we're not just a fantasy game or a sci-fi game, we're kind of a blend of both. And we take inspiration when we say pirates, it's old world pirates that you would see traditionally back in the 1700s and 1800s. We have like a flintlock pistol, we have an exotic fusion rifle that plays different than fusion rifles you've ever seen before. It's just like end to end, just really leaning into that spirit of like the pirate adventure. And let's also make it so that new players coming in can actually jump in and get started. The gift of the Thunder Gods is a starter kit. It's a set of armor, it's a Thunderlord exotic weapon. So jump in, join your friends, set sail, become the captain, and build your crew today in Destiny. Man, it is so awesome seeing King's Fall return to Destiny. Yeah, actually, King's Fall was the first thing I got to work on at Bungie. And I'm thrilled that a whole new generation of Guardians will get to experience this refreshed and reloaded showdown with the Taken King. So, we've shown you Lightfall. We've shown you the new damage type, Strand. We've shown you some of the deeper changes to the game that we're gonna be making throughout the next year. But we have one more thing that we are excited to announce today. Destiny is coming to the Epic Game Store today. Epic has been an absolutely fabulous partner to work with. They love Destiny. And we are just huge fans of what they've been doing in the social game space. When we first started working with Epic, we sat down and talked about the impact that their games have had on us. And they had a bunch of the same stories for us. They shared stories about playing the Vault of Glass and how much they enjoy the social experiences in Destiny. And I got to talk about the summer of Fortnite Chapter 1, Season 5, when my whole family was laser-focused, taking turns on the island to unlock Drift. In addition to launching all of Destiny 2 on the Epic Games Store today, for the next week, if you download the game on Epic, we will give you the 30th anniversary for free. If you haven't earned your Galahorn yet, or you haven't played the Grasp Dungeon, come to the Epic Games Store and you can jump in for free. We want to welcome all these new Guardians with a celebration, one that stretches a little further than the last city.
few years ago, we shared our plans for the Light and Darkness Saga. This journey, years in the making, is coming to an end. Since we started charting our own course, we've been building this story. Across five years of expansions, since the first pyramid ship emerged in Shadowkeep and we first spoke to the darkness. Then, across Beyond Light, the Witch Queen, and coming up in Lightfall in the final shape, we're building towards a climactic collision between the powers of light and dark. We've also been working on the Destiny engine behind the scenes, preparing our technology and our game to last for many, many years to come. Because Destiny 2 is not going anywhere, and neither are your expansions. We want this story, since we first communed with the darkness on the moon, to be fully playable, start to finish. And we're happy to announce today that we are not planning to sunset any more expansions. We want the Destiny universe to grow, and we're gonna continue to do everything that we can behind the scenes to keep that possible within our game engine. But enough about the distant future. Let's talk about today the best day all year to jump into Destiny. Yes, because if you're looking to catch up, right now, all expansions are free to play for this entire week on every platform for everyone. Right now, Season of Plunder is live, and the Helms get a set of supercharged art gear for anyone looking to catch up on the fun. Destiny is live on the Epic Games Store. You can download it for free, and you can get the 30th anniversary pack as your welcome gift. And if you liked what you saw about the future, right now, pre-orders for Lightfall are live on all platforms. And anyone who purchases the annual pass gets the exotic auto rifle Quicksilver Storm today. Today is a perfect day to play Destiny. So we'll see you in game. They do that. 
Hey Guardians, and welcome to the Destiny 2 Showcase Post Show. Oh, I hope you're having as much of a good time as we are because it is so good to finally share all the things the teams have been working on. So hard behind the scenes, we've got ARC 3.0, we've got Space Pirates, we finally have Drifter saying more than two words. It's a beautiful thing, and we've got some really cool stuff lined up. Before we get to that, I want to say what a pleasure it is to welcome to the stage the one, the only, D Flawless. Hey, How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Yes. Thanks for having me. It's such a blast to be here. Like you said, we got pirates, we got Arc 3.0, we got light, we got so much stuff to talk about. I can't wait to dive into it and just just go over everything. Go ahead and uh, give us your best uh, drifter impression. Go ahead. Pirates. Pirates. I love it. I love it. It's gonna be great. We've got some deep dives with some of the developers that are responsible for the beautiful world of Destiny. We've also got a live gameplay stream later on with some of the team as well, which is gonna be a good, gonna, gonna be a good time. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Hopefully, nothing crazy happens. No, we love crazy here. We're bungee. Come on, okay. let's go. Well, never mind. But speaking of deep dives, you actually have something coming up, right? I do. What you got? I got some members of the dev team here with me, and we're gonna be talking about some of the new stuff that's coming to Destiny 2. What's going on, y'all? Howdy, Hi, how's it going? Hello. Thanks for joining what's us. Going on? All right, so let's, last time we did this was Shadowkeep, and Dado was here, and let's just address the elephant in the room, all right? There was a popular meme made, and I don't have a notebook like Dado did. I have cards, okay? So you can't meme this, all right? <laughs> We're safe. We're safe. Right. We're good. Right. So, how's everybody doing? So good. Pretty good. Happy to be yeah. here, man. Awesome, awesome. Let's go around the table and let's have everyone introduce yourself. Uh, let's start with uh, this lovely gentleman to my left. Hey, everybody. I'm Joe. Uh, I'm the game director for Destiny 2. Oh, hey, everybody. I'm, I'm Dan. I'm the general manager for Destiny 2. Uh, I'm Taylor. I am the senior test lead for uh, Season 18 and Season of Plunder, and yeah, excited to be here. Hi, I'm Kat, I'm the project lead for Destiny 2 Expansions. Hi, I'm James Sai. I'm one of the creative directors on Destiny. And Destiny very 2. nice, very nice. Thank you all so much for being here. So let's, let's just kick it off. We're all just talking, we're all just having a good time. Mm. What are we most excited for? Neo Muna. Neo Muna? Uh, yeah. Neo Muna. It looks so good. Did you guys see that trailer? It looked oh, so good. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I think I think in general, like uh, in Destiny, we've uh, went to to very different uh, destinations. There are uh, very nature ascendant, um, and I think I'm really excited to just see what a um, up to date up to date like super futuristic neon city looks like. Uh, and I'm very excited to just use the that. grapple on that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Grapple. Yeah, go. Yeah, oh, I was going to say, the, the thing about New Moon, it's really cool because, uh, as Kat was saying, we've gone to a lot of, like, abandoned places, a lot of nature ascendant places, places that are falling apart or overrun, but New Moon is, like, this, uh, it's a civilization that uh, the people believed in, and it was worth protecting, and it really embodies, like, the, the positivity and the hope and the optimism that runs at the core of a lot of what Destiny does, so... It's a really cool place. I think I'm excited for how different it feels from you know where we've been before. What Kat and James were saying. I think, you know, last year the team was sent on a mission and we said, "Can you make a really cool swamp?" And they're like, <laughs> "Okay, yeah." And then they're like, "Okay, we've gotten really good at this like swamp making." It was like, "Great, now make a city, right? Like they'll make like futuristic, like something that's never been done before in Destiny, where you feel like you know minutes before you got there." it was functioning, right? Like people were thriving in this place and that's just a place that we've never been before in Destiny. Absolutely, you guys killed it with the design. And, and did I see this correctly? Are we getting destructible environments in the game? Uh, so <laughs> the game is like all about like blockbuster action, you know, big, big uh, fun sequences there. And yeah, there's definitely like so, some locations, some, some places where there's gonna be a lot of like things blowing up, a lot of visual flair. Um, it's not like the kind of destructible, like dynamic destructible stuff where you're like gonna blow like a new path in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the level and be able to like take a different route than you, than you thought you could. But it really adds a lot to the mood and stuff to have like these things blowing up all over the place. It really complements the theme of the release. Yeah, I think for us it's about, you know, really highlighting some of those moments, right? You're gonna place the rally banner down 
and just a sea of cabal or Vex is gonna pour out and then suddenly glass is flying everywhere and brands are going right. And that's that moment that we want. And then we're like, okay, yeah, I think I earned that, you know, those two treasure chests for my encounter there. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be on my way. After all the explosions. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, that's the trick, right? Like, it's, it's a war zone, right? Like, I know we've been at war and I know we've been protecting the last city, but to, to Joe's point, we just spent, you know, the last year in the swamp. Uh, <sighs> kind of playing detective. And this is, the, the battle is there, it's huge, it's larger than life, so there's things blowing up, there's, there's the constant struggle, it's just a very different vibe. I'm super excited for the action of it. Who doesn't like blowing stuff up? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we talked about a little bit, tell us more about who we're, who we're gonna be encountering on Neptune, who are we fighting? We saw some cabal. Yeah, I mean, I, th I think the big thing is, you know, the witness is, as has pulled in and sent Callus, right? You, you probably saw that concept of Callus's, you know, in classic style, the big pyramid <laughs> ship with his own sort of effigy uh, crowned on it. And so there's gonna be a lot of cabal. And then there's, uh, there's also this sort of Vex undercurrent threat of Neomuna as well. And so that's an interesting thing that players will sort of discover, you know, what they've been dealing with for the past. But uh, on top of that, I mean, it, you know, Callus is back, loaded up, really as a disciple of the witness. And so- Is it really him? I, I could say with like 90, 90, 97, 97% certainty. It's like <laughs> callous and, and not a robot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. But, yeah. Definitely probably. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's, it's so cool because, uh, you know, we've been seeing like a ton of stuff going on with like Kayatal and stuff in the past few seasons and things. And we're starting to explore like more of the backstory of like the Cabal, find out more about uh, them as a combatant race. Uh, it's just really exciting to see that happening, like the Destiny universe continuing to grow, and Callus, like, we're gonna find out, like, why he's, you know, signed on with the Witness. What does he want? What does he hope to gain? Uh, yeah, but speaking of which, though, but, like, even though, it, yeah, it's 97% Callus, and it's, it's the Cabal, <laughs> but it's not the Cabal we know, right? Like, as becoming a disciple, Callus got some upgrades. So, like, there's a, there's a different Cabal we're gonna be fighting. There's different flavors to it. And I, th I think the biggest, right, uh, you know, upgrade, it's not just the Cabal, there's, there's another unit of the Pyramid coming with the Cabal, right? And the witness said, hey, you're gonna need some help, and that's what the, we call this, the Tormentor, the right? Tormentors. Those so, things look terrifying. What can you tell me about the Tormentors? I'm excited to go up against these they guys. Are they, <laughs> they are terrifying. They are terrifying. We yeah. can tell you that. Yeah, so uh, the Tormentors are a new Pyramid unit that will be joining um, the, the, the Cabal and the, the forces of the witness this time around. Um, and it's a, it's a, they are basically bosses in the battle arenas that you, uh, that you will encounter throughout Neo Muna. Um, they are, as you said, terrifying to fight against. Uh, they have different phases, and they're really like, um, yeah, uh, scary mini bosses. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's, it's. I mean, we, we, we call them like terrifying Grim Reapers, and, and these things are awesome because they're like the first like pyramid units that are like in the core combatant sandbox now that, that you know, so that they're gonna anchor like a lot of tough encounters. And um, they have a bunch of different ways they can hit you, right? They, they have like the, the, the this, like side thing we call them, you know, like I said, our terrifying Grim Reapers. So they throw these like side like projectiles at you. Uh, they can rush in and like, you know, like grab you and stuff. And it's just like, it's a completely different experience fighting them. It's a really, really fun kind of like, they're living up to their name. Yeah. 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 Can't wait to get tormented by some torment. <laughs> I like how terrifying Grim Reaper was the throwaway term. Like, yeah. that's not like, scary. This is Grim Reaper, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we also have another new uh, character type. What are we calling these Cloud Striders? What can we, what can we say about these guys? Uh, are they so friend, little, foe? Yeah. Like, a little background on the story of Neo Muna. So, uh, during the first collapse, there was basically a ship that uh, was able to escape, and that's how the society um, in um, Neptune started, and how Neo Muna as a city came to be. They basically w have been preparing all these years to avoid the second collapse and make sure that the, um, all their citizens are safe. As part of that, uh, there is this, um, this class of people who actually are volunteers. Uh, and it's a very different paradigm from what we know as the Guardians. The Guardians are basically chosen by the Traveler to defend humanity. With, um, with the Cloud Striders, they actually volunteer to go through a bunch of cyber enhancements uh, and really be ready to protect the citizens uh, in the city. And so that's, that's a very heroic thing to do. Um, and we're gonna be able to discover more of their story and how, how they came to be. Uh, but also it comes with a cost, like they actually shorten their lifespan um, 
for about uh, to about a, a decade um, as wow. they are cloud striders. And so you basically have two at a time, one who's mentoring the next one, uh, and we're gonna see some of those things play out in Lightfall. Yeah, yeah. What, I, what I sort of love about the cloud striders is they sort of form this mirror for the Guardian in a bunch of ways. You know, we have, we think of Guardians as the only heroes for the solar system, but the people of Neptune have come up with a different way. And, you know, you take yourself as a Guardian, you know, this, you know, six foot mystic hero, and then you stand next to one of the Cloud Striders, and you're like, oh! <laughs> and I'm then, small. Yeah, and every one of the Cloud Striders looks like they, they're hitting the gym, you know, morning, <laughs> noon, and night, and, and they have a, a very different approach to uh, combat maybe than our sort of like tactical view or, or mystic powerful view. They're they're all force all the time. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful juxtaposition, right? Like you have the guardians, as Kat said, that were chosen, like, you know, chosen for immortality and, and but still for defense and protection versus these, these cloud striders that opt in to shorten their own life, the antithesis of, of immortality, to, to sacrifice their mortality also to defend. And it's just, it's interesting to see, like, to explore how those two different societies play out and how the, they approach battle and how they approach combat. I'm just, it's gonna be really awesome to see it play out. That's awesome. So speaking of combat, we have a new energy type, Strand. <laughs> Tell me everything about Strand. What, 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 uh, I want all I mean, the details. I gravel, what else do you <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's green. You saw it was green. Like, it's, it's green, that's, there that's, you have it. That's <laughs> Yeah, I think one of the one of the interesting things for Strand, you know, is it's it's the first power where your guardian is the first person to ever encounter this. It's sort of a thing that that you're learning about, and you have mentors that are helping you learn more about it. But you're really on the front lines of this sort of new uh, darkness power, and what does it mean? And and then I think how that gets you know translated into the gameplay is this high mobility, we really love the, the thought of this, the cosmic web, right? Behind all of us, there's this web that connects everything, and Strain is about touching into that web, and that's why grapple can grapple anywhere, right? You don't need a point, yes. the web is everywhere. You find the web and pull it towards you, and how the different classes sort of, you know, make this web come to life, I think is gonna be really interesting for the for our players to discover over the next few months as we start talking more about it. Absolutely. And it's it's been something that we've been exploring on uh, throughout the, the whole campaign is also your guardian's journey in discovering strand as as Joe was saying and how we can learn and utilize this this new darkness power um, is is part of the story that that we're gonna we're gonna go through with with players. Um, and so it's been it's been really cool. As a Titan, I'm very excited about uh, um, doing the Titan thing and actually like have like hold strand and and have like a, a whole AOE. Why is what, what's with all the punching? Whoa, they're <laughs> claws now. They're no, blasted right? on. Excuse me. This is Excuse a refined punch. Yeah. 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 Um, so yeah, super super excited about strand and and I think one thing that I really want to make sure that we highlight is what Joe said. Like you don't need a grapple point to use the grapple. Like you can actually grapple onto anything, the air or whatever you want, because 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 we are using this cosmic web that uh, permeates the, the world. Yeah. That, that, that's really good for me because as a hunter who regularly overextends himself into like every fight and is just like after two seconds like, I gotta get out of here, <laughs> oh, that grapple has saved my life a lot of times. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Can't wait to get my hands on the grapple. Uh, we also talked about the legendary campaign in the showcase. Uh, is there anything new to the legendary campaign coming, or do we, ex or can we expect some of the uh, the classic rewards that we got last time with the uh, getting us raid ready and, and things like that? Yeah, I think I think uh, from a reward side, you know, we're we're following a really similar story. I think we're going to give you the awesome, you know, gear at the end of the the campaign to get you up in that powerful band. We're going to get to choose one of the new exotics this time. We're making sure they have high stat rolls on them, uh, but in addition. Because you're unlocking uh, strand during all this, we're also gonna give you a little bit of extra strand currency. So if you do the legendary campaign, you're gonna be able to earn one extra fragment right off the bat. But I cool. think the, the differences really start to come less in the rewards and more in the campaign itself. Um, if you look at the, the Witch Queen and, and what we did in the campaign of the Witch Queen, I sort of like to compare, compare that to the Corrupted Strike, right? There's like a little bit of nuance, it's a little bit creepy, there's some mechanics going on. And you've got to play with a little finesse, right? Each thing is, is a little bit surprising. Um, really what we're doing in Lightfall is like the proving ground strike, right? You're like, okay. hey, 
you want to shoot a lot of people, right? <laughs> like, do you want to get in there and fight just a yes. ton of Cabal? Uh, I think the thing, we're going to have players go through the Legendary campaign, and when you hit that wipe screen on an encounter, sometimes you see the report, and you're like, Oh, how many? <laughs> Did I do that? Yeah. I think you're Joe, not many. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> I mean, Le Legendary Campaign has been such a joy to like, yeah. you know, like to bring into the uh, the Destiny, you know, universe of the, pa the past couple of releases. Just getting back to that, like, that smart combat that you, you know, like, like you have to make choices. You can't just, you know. James and rush in and then try and grapple your way out. Of trouble. You know, you have to like actually like think about where you're going to stand, where you're going to aim, what your loadout is. Um, you know, how are you kitted out for the for, for this fight? And to see like the designers, at, you know, at Bungie, like just spend so much time thinking about like all the different dimensions of the encounter, like all the different ways that a player can pick it apart, and uh, you know, like the different ways that they want players to be able to make progress in it or like push back on the players. Um, there's just so much like loving like handcrafted work that goes into designing these encounters. It's, it's just been so much fun to watch. And honestly, just because I'm probably the, yeah, I'm definitely the most recent person to Bungie, I think seeing that, what James is just saying about the love that goes into crafting all these experiences has been absolutely just fascinating and just endearing, honestly. <laughs> uh, as, a, as a huge Destiny fan and uh, now having the privilege of honestly working on my absolute favorite game in the world, um, it's, it's it's amazing to see how it all comes together. And sorry, I'm, I'm gonna stop or I'm gonna get emotional. Go. <laughs> <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, Taylor, let's. Uh, what are you? What are you thinking about the strand abilities? What are you excited for in Lightfall? What are you thinking? You uh, want to jump into? I feel like um, most, except for James, uh, we're all Titans here, right? No. no. Warlock. Wow. No. Okay. You know Listen, what? I've, I've <laughs> seen. <laughs> there has to be. There. <laughs> I think we're the only Titans, really. Uh, I think the the biggest. Uh, problem with being able to see the internal stuff is you see all the armor sets really early and yes. you're like, okay, what class am I playing this time? <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, especially, yeah, the aesthetic, uh, that is always uh, all about the fashion and like how how your abilities will like, uh, like kind of mesh with, with <laughs> I'm all about aesthetic fashion, uh, so it's it's nice to kind of like fit that in with your subclasses. Uh, well, we... fashion is the real end game, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we love fashion. We love destiny. We don't want it to end. But we've heard talk about the end of this light and dark saga. What does that mean? Is destiny going away? No, no, Destiny's not going anywhere. <laughs> um, I, I think the easiest way to think about the end of the light and dark saga is the end of a chapter in a much longer tale, a much longer book or series of books or something like that. Like, this is a great moment in time in the history of destiny and in the history of the world and we want to tell it right and we want to have it have a satisfying conclusion but a conclusion to that chapter not the story of destiny i think we've been for a long time we've been setting up this you know we've got this big white ball in the sky the traveler and we've got these big creepy pyramids coming from space and we want to make sure that we're always making good on those stories right we're saying hey you've been waiting for this we're gonna give it to you. And then we're gonna go to a next chapter yep. and we're gonna be able to move beyond that in the Destiny universe and talk about new exciting ideas. Awesome, awesome. So Destiny is forever. You know what else is forever? Fortnite. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Epic? What's going on? I mean, like, why wouldn't we want to be on Epic Game Store? Yeah. Right? I mean, one of the one of the key pillars of Destiny that we our ambitious goal that we try to hold ourselves to is we want to be able to play this game anywhere. Right, like, and, and just Epic Game Store is such a huge step in that direction. There's so many amazing gamers that are over there on that platform. And we're big fans of Epic, we're big fans of all those games. We're super excited today to be able to bring them, like, just bring Destiny to all those players who may not have experienced it before. Uh, you know, and, and also, worth mentioning, if you do go on Destiny, on Epic Game Store today and sign up, you do get the 30th anniversary pack that we launched last year for free. Wow. Forever. Wow. What a that I'm super excited to, to see all the collaborations, Epic, uh, Fortnite, Fall Guys, all that. But before we get into to that, there's some other things, very exciting things that the community's been asking uh, for for a long time. 
uh, LFG's coming into the game. You finally did it. What's <laughs> Give me the story behind this. Yeah, I mean, Dengen just talked about it, how important it is for, for us, for the Destiny 2 team, to, to make sure that Destiny is like a social game and a game that like it's so easy to jump in and just like find your, either play with your friends or find new friends to play with, right? And so LFG is really a step, uh, a step in that direction. And so making sure that we have a really good system in game where you can jump into your favorite raid if your clan is not available for some reason <laughs> or you're actually looking for a clan, um, I think is going to bring a lot of those experiences to way, many, way more people than it currently does. And so it's super exciting that we'll be able to, to bring that in uh, next year. I think one of the most exciting things about LFG is the way the team is approaching it, right? And they want to make sure we have the right foundation because we want a really stellar LFG tool in Destiny. And so, you know, what's coming first with Lightfall is this thing we call Guardian Ranks. Um, and Guardian Ranks for us is it's this journey from the absolute new, new light player all the way to a Grandmaster, like, PvE all-star. And you can go through these ranks and it'll show you, hey, here's what you need to do next. Oh, you, you've, you've mastered that? You should try some of this stuff. You should try learning about build crafting. OK, you should try getting into dungeons. You should try getting into a little bit harder strikes. And we think of that as really as the base for LFG. Because when you want to go to LFG, you want to know that the people that you're looking to build your raid team with, your dungeon team with, your trial team with, you, know, you want to know they're ready. right? And so Guardian Ranks really is this thing where you can say, like, Hey, I'm ready. Like I've I've done all the stuff that shows I'm ready for Check the raid. My stats. Yeah, and <laughs> and, I, and I think between guardian ranks and uh, accommodations, we not only have the tools that are hopefully going to say, Hey, I know I can build a good raid team in this tool. We also have encouraging people to go down and say, Hey, let's take this person on their first raid, right? Let, let's let's bring them up. Let's get them up to the next level of guardian ranks and. And so I'm really excited about how the social team is, is addressing all these things because yeah, it's really important. We, we love the, the sort of unmatched made content in Destiny. We want to keep it challenging and engaging, but we also want to build those tools that are going to allow you to get into that content and say, oh yeah, I've done the raid, right? I've done the, you know, I've, I've, I've gone and mastered some of the coolest content in Destiny. Yeah, I, th I think there's like a lot of cool elements that, you know, like Joe's talking about where it's like, it's showing you what you need to do to, you know, to progress, how to spend your time. Uh, another property I really like about Guardian Ranks is that as you go, as you move up, it forces you a little bit out of your comfort zone. You know, it's getting you to try new things, to maybe maybe do new things like new activity types, uh, to try and uh, put yourself out there like a little more in terms of like, uh, you know, like the aspirational content or trying to do some social things um, to keep uh, to keep your 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 growth and your journey in Destiny like moving forward at all times and not falling into like these uh, like the, the the same patterns over and over. So there's a lot of just really, really cool effects having like a guardian rank system, uh, you know, that it has on the player. Yeah, and one, one, of the, one of the last things that I think that we're really hoping the system can do is, Destiny can be an overwhelming game, not just for a new player to get into. Hey, oh my, there's so much stuff, what should I do? Uh, also, if you're taking a break and you're coming back, and we really want the guardian ranks to be this place that you can go, where you're just like, what should I do? There's so much to do in Destiny, what should I do? And you can go you know, say, Okay, I should work on this. Wait, you're, you're allowed to take breaks? <laughs> <laughs> you are allowed to take breaks. Yes. And I think this is a really important part of, of Guardian Ranks is that even if you have friends who are playing, but like you're coming back to the game or you're brand new to the game, uh, that, that's probably a place you can point them to. And it's like, why don't you just follow like this? And it's probably a great path for you to, um, to ramp up. And then Joe also mentioned uh, commendations. And one of the really important things about building a game that's inherently social and we want it to be is to make sure that our guardians are in their best behavior and um, are being super helpful uh, to the community. And so commendations after every match made um, um, activity is actually something that will be able to reflect that, where players will now be able to send commendations to each other and reward players for their good things that they did in the game. Either they were helpful or like they were really good at PvP or whatever it was. And, um, and, so, and so that system plugs into Guardian ranks and I think it's gonna be uh, really a highlight of, of the system. Yeah, yeah the, the, once you get past all of the, hey, I've done all the content, there's a few Guardian ranks at the end. They're all actually about that combination. Wow. It's all about saying to say, OK, you've proven that you can do all this. Now prove that you're a person that other people want to play with. And it doesn't always have to be that you're the you know, um, most amazing raid leader. It can also be that like 
whoa, Kat's just like super dependable, right? She's got like a good attitude and like you look at her lane in Vault of Glass and you're like, yeah, it's handled, right? Like, and I, I can always count that like what's going on over there is, 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 uh, is on the up and up. Is there like a comic relief one for those of us who are really just good on chat? <laughs> yes. Good backpack. Yeah. yeah. We'll take good it. at driving the backpack. Yeah, that's right. I want the troll commendation. <laughs> I'm leaving somebody off a ledge somewhere, put it in the game. All right. So one of the things we're going to get our hands on, well, now, Season of the Plunder is here. Arc 3.0 is here. What, what, what do we have to say about Arc 3.0? There's so much cool stuff to get our hands on. Taylor, what do, what do you think? Um, for Arc 3.0, it's it's touching like all things Arc, and so like uh, one of the things that is really cool about Arc 3.0 is uh, you can bring in uh, you know older Arc weapons that have been your favorites. Uh, mine is Trinity Ghoul, uh, and and like Good having choice. that like synergize with the new Arc 3.0, um, it's it's something that uh, I think. We're really excited to see everyone uh, playing with Arc 3.0, being able to, uh, you know, kind of build up and craft their own uh, their own uh, style, and seeing like what people come up with in the next few weeks. And I'm just really excited to see how everyone uh, handles it. I'm really excited for like the Titan Thunderclap. Uh, I cannot. Wait, for that. Titans get another one shot ability. What, 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 <laughs> I'm just excited. I, I get to throw my arc staff. Yes. Like, I cannot tell you how many times I have popped that thing, gone twirling, gone after somebody, and they just like, like, like just like just jump over yeah. me, and I just go right yeah. off the ledge to my to my doom. Now with like being able to throw the arc staff, like I have like a whole another way to just like miss and like be totally ineffective with my super and get laughed at by everybody. Like, it's like it, it, it's hunter it's struggles. So cool. Hunter yeah. struggles. <laughs> Warlocks have a cool new ability where they turn into a ball of lightning. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? That's normal. Yeah. Yeah. Let's Obviously. Just put, <laughs> let's just put that in the game. <laughs> and uh, so also Blink is back on the menu. Yes. yes. How great is that? I mean, I'm, I'm excited for the people that love Blink. <laughs> As someone that is constantly uh, the victim of people that are in, you know, a PVE jumping puzzle, I'm like, oh, don't worry, guys. I'm great at Blink. <laughs> uh, and then we're just sitting there. We're on the King's Fall tomb ships. We're looking down at them. And you're like, you got it, buddy? You sure? <laughs> you sure you're great at Blink? <laughs> Oh man, so Arc 3.0 is here. We got Season of Plunder, Pirates. Uh, let's talk about the narrative theme of this season. Uh, what, why, why Pirates? What are we doing? Why not? <laughs> yeah. why not? I, know, I, I realize I set myself up for the why not. <laughs> I mean, yeah, who doesn't like Pirates? Um, I, I think that we've seen time and time again in, in pop culture, like we're, we're always so, so fascinated with like the pirate fantasy of like, action, adventure, peril, uh, a lot of that unknown on the open seas. And that felt like we could really uh, merge that into the Destiny universe and make it make sense because there's always looming danger in, in the universe. Like there's so much empty space. You don't know what's lurking out there. <laughs> and I think it's also a, a really cool way that we can um, tap into some, some further stories about like Drifter and Spider and how they've had like these run-ins with um, you know the unsanctioned side of the galaxy and kind of just finding a little bit more uh, to them and, and some uh, deeper deeper dives into their their personality and their characters. Yeah, pirate mystique is is just a real thing, right? Like, and and when you have to just point before, right? Like, we have our sphere good, triangle bad. Like, we have we have very clear images on what's on what's on what side of the battle. Having something that is neither, having something that is that like, you know, you don't really know where it's going to go and is unsanctioned to to use your words. I just think that's really exciting. It just adds a new uh, dimension to the to the struggle and the conflict. And, and pirates is really like it's classic destiny. Like, the fallen are spider pirates. Yep. It is time that we make good. When you say this is a fallen captain, you're like a captain of what? And you're like, of that. <laughs> and Aramis is back. You see that yeah. pirate ship back there? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that, that's a true statement, right? Like ships are sh ships are always cool. Pirate ships are cooler. Like it's oh, just yes. always are. There's a cool thing about the pirate aesthetic that I think the team just nailed for this release. 
So can we talk about the aesthetic a little bit? We got, do we, are we getting pirate hats? What's, what, are, what are we going to be wearing as pirates? Are we going to get to do the whole, the full get up? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, uh, as as the fashion lover here, uh, <laughs> we get the hats. Uh, we get uh, some slick coats. Uh, I I am a Titan main, but I have to say the Warlock set <laughs> is so cool. Uh, <laughs> we we kind of are fashioning um, our armor sets based off of like some of the. Uh, pirate fantasy of like captains or swashbucklers and so you're seeing a lot of hats you're seeing a lot of coats a lot of like shiny buttons and like doodads that are just <laughs> attached to your <laughs> attached to your armor and it's oh I'm so excited I am going to wear so much pirate gear. <laughs> <laughs> all the pirate gear do we get parrots <sighs> You know, I don't think we get parrots. Uh, we do get crewmates, though. So. Okay. Did parrots survive the golden age? <laughs> <laughs> They're different. <laughs> Someone call Julia. <laughs> parrots, pirates, you know. So we're, we're looking good. We got our pirate gear on. What are we, what are we chasing after this season? Uh, a lot of loot. I was gonna say a lot of booty, but a lot of loot. A lot of booty. You heard it here first. Um, so we have some. Uh, we really leaned into the the pirate fantasy. So we have uh, an activity called Catch Crash. Uh, try saying that three times fast. Uh, it is it is a challenge, uh, um, and it is essentially you are uh, having a uh, shipboarding crew, and you launch yourself over to the enemy ship. You fight your way through to the captain's quarters, and then you, you know, beat up that fallen captain and <laughs> and get that loot. And then we also have uh, expeditions, and it is three different activities where you're kind of going, you know, plundering and and finding treasure and and glory. And then uh, we also have uh, hideouts, and uh, those are um, those are. Eight, eight different uh, activities where you go in and you are, um, you know, getting rid of some scurvy dogs uh, in those hideouts, <laughs> and you're uncovering some some long lost artifacts. Uh, so it is really kind of hitting home on that like, uh, you know, pirate adventure of like getting some some lost uh, long lost loot, getting some glory, uh, meeting meeting some fighting and fortune in there. Super cool, super cool. So we we know we're gonna get some new story stuff this season. We know we get new story stuff coming with Lightfall, uh, but the the day to day gameplay loop of Destiny. What's coming to Strike, Gambit, Crucible? What 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 can we say about that? Yeah, I I think the you know the the good news today is that we've got Cathedral of Dust coming back to Destiny today. We've got you know a new uh, PvP game mode coming soon this season called Eruption. Uh, Next season, we are hitting uh, the old competitive playlist pretty hard. We're doing some matchmaking stuff, and on top of that, we're getting you know focusing uh, Ingrams coming to uh, Shacks, which I think will be wow. a pretty exciting thing. And then as we sort of get into uh, season 20 and Lightfall, we're really turning our eye towards uh, Zavala and the old Vanguard uh, playlist with focusing coming to him. We are refreshing some strikes, uh, which is the first thing that we've done. This is not like an old strike coming in Destiny. It's a D2 strike that we look at and say, well, I think those could use a little bit of love. And <laughs> like so, shadows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so so you, you, you may find out about some of those coming in. And then uh, we've also got some really exciting changes just uh, coming to uh, Nightfall and stuff overall that we'll talk a little bit more. Uh, and then, of course, next year, you know, uh, you should expect reprised PvP maps and new PvP maps coming as well. Yep. Sweet, sweet. So uh, what else are you guys excited to talk about? I mean, we <laughs> one of the cool things from the trailer that we saw that we didn't get to touch on really, we, we've been talking about fashion, and the changes you guys made to the fashion interface was amazing. That's now coming to loadouts. Can we talk about that so? Um, I, I have a nice story to tell because I remember <laughs> I remember interviewing for Bungie and it was like if you could add one thing to this and <laughs> what would that be and I was like loadouts and then everyone was just like looking at me because again I wasn't hired yet and it was just like hmm and then 
you know, <laughs> as, as we saw, loadouts are coming. So it's very exciting. I think it's something that like every Destiny player um, has has wanted to have in the game. And so I'm very excited that not only like you can have multiple builds, but also the fashion game is kind of introduced um, in, in, in part of that experience. And so it's going to be super cool to, to engage with. Yeah. Also worth mentioning that like much like some of the third party apps that exist, the loadout system will be able to pull your gear from anywhere. So you don't have to make sure you're carrying all the right stuff. You can switch it up on the fly. It can pull from other characters, the vaults, etc. I think it's going to be pretty big for uh, player quality of life and just enjoying the fashion game. Yeah. Yeah, Very nice. I, I think what James was talking about earlier when he was talking about those handcrafted encounters in, in Lightfall, I think one of the things that I'm really excited about was, you know, playing through the legendary campaign of the Witch Queen, it could often feel like, hey, the tax of switching up what I'm using is so high, I'm just going to find one good build, and I'm going to hope <laughs> that it lasts, and unless I hit a real roadblock, like we're going to keep sailing, you know, with all the, the light subclasses getting 3.0, and um, with loadouts and you know the manager coming along, I'm really excited for players to you know boot up Lightfall, set up all their different possibilities, and then go into these missions. And if they fail, once say, you know what, I think I should use Void for this, and then just press the button and be on their Void loadout, and then just hit that rally flag and be ready to go. That's super cool. It's super cool. And I think with all the synergies and mods that you now slot everywhere, I think it, it's it's such a time saver as well. Like it's it's much faster to get into the fun and like even strategize with if you're playing with a fire team and be like, how can we make sure that like we're all covering all the things that we need to cover for each encounter and each activity. So it's yeah, super excited about it. Huge time saver. I'm so excited for that because my fire team takes way too long in the tower <laughs> <laughs> to like figure out what they're gonna set up and what they're doing, and it's like. You guys, let's just go. Like, <laughs> so I'm Press very. The solar button. <laughs> yeah. <roll. laughs> well, I'm, re I'm really excited for content creators as well because I think one thing that's been difficult, you know, people will discover a great building can be really hard to show off and to yeah. talk about. And this is just, hey, I just took a screenshot of one page, right? And here's everything you need to see on it, right? And then someone's like, oh, okay, I can set that up. I can call it the flawless loadout, right? Like, <laughs> that's great. I like that. <laughs> I might use it. Yeah, no, th that's that's a great feature that you guys have added. I know as a creator, doing guides, uh, sharing builds with the community, being able to just share it on the fly like that, um, it's going to make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. You can just click on the button, switch to an all strand loadout. So, let's let's talk. Let's go back to <laughs> strand. All right, are we getting? Strand everything, strand weapon, strand armor, like what, what's? We're getting legendary and exotic strand weapons. Yep. And I think that's all we can say. Yeah, <laughs> without, without someone from the weapons team appearing from behind one of these photos. <laughs> the the They're in the building, you know they are. <laughs> They're watching, okay, okay. One, one thing we haven't talked about though are the raids. So yes. we have a new raid coming out this season. Well, new, new raid coming out this season and then no one asked about Lightfall, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm like on edge over here. Like, yeah, we, d we definitely have not talked about the raids, Kat. <laughs> yeah, tell me everything. Yeah, yeah. I can't really say much. There's a raid, there's a raid. Yeah, I mean, raids are like, are obviously like one of uh, our uh, most cherished uh, um, end, uh, end game activities. And so it's something that is coming for Lightfall. We'll have a brand new raid, a six man activity as, as uh, they've been. Uh, we're super excited about that, and we'll share more soon. And then I think the thing that also we're, we'll play, stay pretty cryptic about, people know it's coming, is that season 19, there's a whole brand new dungeon coming out, yep. right? Oh, right? And again, sworn to secrecy here, like you'll, <laughs> you'll find out when you find out, but I think that, you know, we've been really happy with the amount of Rage and Dungeon content coming out this year. We really want to make sure as Guardian ranks and LFG come along, there's always just like a, a girth of PvE in-game content for you to sink into. Yeah. Really nice, and uh, we talked about the raid. Um, I'm assuming the witness is going to be tied into that some kind of some kind of way. Can we talk anything about what we can expect from the witness? Are we finally going to learn more about what the witness's deal is? Ooh, I, I can take this one. <laughs> yes, we will. Okay. <laughs> there you have it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, we'll find out about the witness. All right. Anything else you're excited to share share with us? Any? Uh, insights from the team, any, any tidbits you have for us? Uh, I think one thing we haven't talked about, James, I know you wanted to talk a little bit about the, the gear that's waiting for on the helm, and I wanted to talk about, you know, um, today right now, if you, a uh, Predator Lightfall, you get an exotic, and it's from 
Neptune, it's sort of used a little bit of this 3D printing, cloud runner, tech, cloud okay. runner technology in this thing we call it Quicksilver Storm. And I, I think the weapons team has gone a little bit wild here <laughs> because it is somehow uh, an auto rifle that shoots bullets, missiles, and grenades. Yeah. Uh, and so <laughs> I'm excited to get my hands on that yeah. and, and start, uh, start using that. So we can get our hands on that right now. Yep. Yep. If you pre order. Pre-order? Yeah. 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 And light bulb pre-order. And, and the other thing Joe was mentioning, you know, bringing players back into the fold in Destiny is always really, really important to us. And we know that, like, if you take a season off or you, you lapse for a little while, you know, there, there can be a lot of work just to get, you know, like, get back up to, your, to, your, to, your, uh, to where you want to be. So, uh, you know, with, with this new season, you'll be able to go to Helm and grab, like, a, a chest that will catch you up now. So we're going to have, like, a full set of gear in there, uh, and, and it's going to bring you up to the, uh, to, the, to the base power level for the season. We're also going to have uh, a special little exotic gift for you in there. So if you haven't gotten Thunderlord yet, now's your chance to grab that, and that's going to pair nicely with Arc 3.0. I, I think what's really exciting about that gear is it's not just about the power level. Um, you know, these... the the systems team went in and they said, what does a good set of gear look like for a Destiny player? And so they've set you up with some legendary weapons, some uh, mods in your armor, some, you know, Thunderlord, right? Then we really wanted anyone to be able to wear this and to be able to go into, you know, some, some match-made Nightfalls and people be like, oh, that's good. You're, what you're wearing is good. Uh, and so I had that confidence that as you get those better and better weapons, you have this baseline of like really just competent weapons and armor to go out and adventure in. So yeah, we, we got Thunderlord coming back and probably a, a bunch of new arc weapons are gonna get a nice refresh with the new season. Any weapons in particular y'all are excited to play around with this season? Like I said, I love, I love my Trinity Ghoul, so. <laughs> Trinity Ghoul? <laughs> Risk Runner? That's not gonna be a problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sweet, sweet. Well, season eight, season of plunder, is live right now. Yeah. You can play it, um, but that's that's it all. That's all our time. I just want to thank all of you for for taking this time with me, going on this journey. But right now we have a trailer. We've seen it already. Let's watch <laughs> it again. It's the Lightfall trailer coming to you right now. Welcome back, Andy. That was a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff, and you survived your first encounter with Joe's glorious mustache. I did it. I, I hope I wasn't staring too much. I mean, if you were, he can't see it over all that hair. It's fine. You're good. You're good. I, I really liked what you guys were talking about, especially what you were going through with with talking about Cloud Strider and Ark and Shran and pirates. I can't wait. If anybody has seen the pirates, you kind of look like Preston a little bit, it's a character. He's like, another settlement is waiting. And I'm like, I'm gonna get my, my settler on. It's gonna be awesome, it's gonna be epic. I'm gonna destroy enemies. It's gonna, in the nicest way possible. Kindness destroy matters. Destroy them in the nicest way possible. Yeah, destroy them with love. You know the thing I like about Preston is his outfit. And I know you right. love outfits too. You're about to 
talk about some outfits? We're about to we're about to talk some outfits. Uh, I, I'm excited. I'm a big collector. If you don't know this about me, I have an entire shenanigans of collectible statues, replicas. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die at a young age because I'm gonna <laughs> die under hoarding. But it's really exciting. So like, I'm actually excited to go into the next segment because that's where we're okay. actually talking with consumer products and getting our geek on. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna I'll catch let you later. get to that. I'll catch you later. Dope. I will see you later. Ha. Hi, look at that outfit, I love it. I love it, how are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm amped off of this showcase, man. I just wanna be a space pirate. Dreams do come true. Facts. Right? Facts. Yeah. All right, before we, we, before we go into this, cause we're gonna be talking about the Lightfall Collector's Edition. We're also giving away 10 Lightfall Collector's Editions. Uh, because they're hefty boys, uh, this is, giveaway is gonna be unfortunately for our North American artists and audiences only. Uh, but if you do win in the chat, we do the trip Twitch drops, make sure you're in chat and engaging. And if you do win it and you're not in, the, in North America, that's fine, we'll get you a code, we'll set you up. We don't want anybody to feel yeah. left out. But uh, <clears throat> enough about that, because I, I need to know, I need to know about <laughs> this. Uh, this is epic. Uh, warlock, I mean, I'm tight and main myself, but I do appreciate myself a, a good, powerful warlock. I like it. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you do here? Who the heck are you? And please explain the beauty that is your, your lock. Yeah, well, so who I am, I'm Ariel. I'm on the Bungie.net team. So pretty much anything that has to do with Companion, Twitch, the website I've touched, looked at, um, helped out with, made sure it's a nice place for all of our players and viewers to go to. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see everything about Destiny. Um, but as far as like who I am wearing, uh, I'm actually myself. I'm my warlock in the game. I Heck mean, yeah. I'm technically an Awoken, but I didn't want to wear body paint. So we're just gonna pretend that I'm well, actually a human. We're super pale, so I feel like we could just yeah. be like, no, it's just the light shader, yeah, it's, it's just, fine. It's just the lighting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, picked Wings of Sacred Dawn. This was like earlier in Destiny 2 because I just, I really like throwing fiery swords at people. So I mean, I mean yeah, and then I picked the Optimacy <laughs> gear, mostly because of the helmet. Um, I wanted to like murder a broom and just stick it on a helmet and then wear it around. Um, and then apparently make like 160 buttons. I don't know, but <laughs> I just really liked the whole thing together. So um, also Nebula Rose. Best shader, in my opinion. You're not wrong. You're not so, wrong. Yeah. Uh, Amethyst Veil is a close second. Although I will yeah. say we've had some pretty cool shaders in the last, I'd say, six months particularly. Like the team made some, the photo finish one, oh. the bright lights. I'm just saying it's pretty epic. It's true. It's true. I like it. And, and uh, uh, I feel like you don't even need an introduction with that outfit. But like, let's hear it. Who are who are you wearing? I mean, I am our favorite ship, right? I made a holiday, yes. queen of my heart. I love her so much. Yeah. I mean, she's a badass she's you know the human who's like i'm not a guardian but i'm gonna run in and i've Same got your back the whole time <laughs> so i uh, i love her a lot she's great and uh yeah i always want more amanda more amanda love it's, it's awesome, and anybody watching too, it's kind of cool because a lot of people don't realize that the same person that voices amanda holiday is kyadol Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and I, like, I always forget that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that like wild? Like it's yeah. you know, you're so small and you're so big, and I, I love both of you. It's very confusing, you and know? especially when like Amanda the whole time is like really pissed at Kyle because yeah. she's still not over the Red War stuff. I mean, it's fascinating. I get it. If you think about it, you're like you're talk. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. You know, we we're, we here to make things not make sense. That's what we do. <laughs> A little bit. That's that's the beauty of game creation is you can invent the rules while you go. I like it, but we are here to talk about the collector's edition. We're here to also just talk about like, we're all longtime Bungie fans. Like that's the bigger thing is, is Bungie, what makes it so special is that we are the players, we're the fans first, and then we just make the game on the side. And I don't think any of us have any chill whatsoever. And looking at like, I remember too, when we, we have new gu like items drop in the Bungie store, we're all like, well, we're broke. <laughs> But it's fine, we're pretty. We got cool shirts and Here's stuff. My wallet. <laughs> Here's my wallet. Uh, so what we, I just wanna dive into that with you guys, especially you, Lorraine, because you work with the consumer products team and you, you really have a big hand in this. We're looking at uh, the puka right now. Oh. We, we're finally answering the age old question of what happened to that freaking fish. And so we have it, we're good. Uh, what, else, what else comes into uh, the Lightfall Collector's Edition? Well, there's some lore. You know, but anyway, like besides this wonderful statue, um, anyway, like the collector's edition is always a special thing, right? Like it's, 
it's a it's a good way to introduce players into the new expansion. Yeah. But you know, it's it's always a, a a good way to bridge, you know, giving context to what you're going to be doing when you start playing. Yes. Lightfall. 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 <laughs> now, nice like nice plug. I nice, like it. Lightfall. <laughs> um, yeah. No, the puka. It, been dying to do something yes. with the puka. And uh, when it, you know, when it didn't show up in Beyond Light, we're like, oh, when, <laughs> when? Uh, so I think was, most of the players agreed with you on that yeah, one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we feel, we feel everybody's We face. feel it because we, we want, want to know it. where the puka is. Yeah, so the puka, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, no, what was your question? <laughs> I mean, this is what happens when you get a bunch of nerds together. We get excited, and then we lose track of thought. I just, I just want to know what's in the Lightfall Collector's Edition. I know we released it, or we revealed it earlier. There's a list somewhere. I didn't memorize it. Like, I don't want to talk about that. I just we, want to talk about the pretty fish, OK? Yeah. Well, we've got, the, we've got our there, lore books like yeah, we usually there, do. Yeah, there are three lore books yeah. on there. Um, we love lore. Yeah, and then you're going to get to you know, like know about the puka and the relationship with the, with the stranger. Um, yes. We're going we're gonna to see something of the interview, like, come on, when Osiris came out of, you know, yes. Ikora has to talk to him. We're going to see that. It's oh, really, it's really good. So it's basically really good. prepare to yeah, cry. Yeah, turn it to cry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm I, cry. I, I have to. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of what I do. Oh. Yeah, and there's one more book now. I'm, I'm forgetting which one it is. Like the, it's Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> <Don't look. laughs> We're not gonna spoil it, but like no, apparently it's yeah, juicy it's, by that yeah, one. It's good, good stuff. Yeah, it's good. I, I'm um, a sucker for good yeah. lore. Uh, it's good, and there you know there there are emblems and you know stuff like that. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it. what's in there. That's great. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Buy it. Um, <laughs> buy ten. Uh, I know I have to buy extra because my daughter wants it. So I, I mean I want my own. Yeah. So I have to get extra one because my daughter wants one. And um, yeah, so no, the, my house is full of trophies. <laughs> I don't think anybody's gonna judge you for having a bunch of pokas. If anything, they're gonna just be mad jealous. I mean I have four penguins. As you should. Yeah. So. I don't, As you I don't, should. I don't see the problem. That's yeah. correct. You're saying this like it's That's a correct. negative. I'm sharing a positive. So when we're looking at this, Liz, one thing I really like, and this was the case with Witch Queen Collector's Edition too, mm -hmm. is we kind of do weird <laughs> collector's editions. We don't necessarily do what kind of everybody else does, and I, I like that because our game is, is very unique as well. Our players are very unique. So when looking at this, this is, this is let's, let's call it what it is. It's weird, but it's like pretty weird. Like you're weird, but you are weird. What goes into designing something like that? So the, again, like the collector's edition is really special. It's special to, to us and consumer products. Like it, it really, it's, it's, a, it's the one place where we get to play with a, an actual experience. Yeah. We're not just we're not just gonna make a statue. Well, we did. I mean, but, we will just make a statue. <laughs> <laughs> but it had to be this one. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm losing a train of thought. I'm just like staring at the shiny. I, it's hard. It's it's it's, it's like well, a beacon. It's yeah, Gondor is calling for aid. The beacons oh, are lit. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Definitely. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> what do you guys think? This like no, matches I mean, your like, guardian. It I does. <laughs> yeah, we called this each other this morning and we're like, yo, we got a match, okay? One of it's... us has to change, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I have to change. Why not twin? I twin it. It's fair. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I love it. I'm gonna attach it to my shoulder when we leave. As no one should. will expect anything. It's fine. Fine, don't worry about it. It looks totally we can make normal. It fit. There, there's a spot yeah. you could probably like hook it up into. Yeah, there is. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. Easy. I love to like with the Witch Queen campaign. You had to get the moths. You had to find it. And and, and we've done that before. We did yeah. it with the callous bobbleheads. We did it with this. We did it with the penguins. We. Mm -hmm. I. I love it. Don't get me wrong. I love it because it's cute, and I'm gonna buy like ten, and I'm gonna have no shame with that. <laughs> But what what was like, you know what, there's so many things we could do. We're gonna do this. And we're gonna make it spiffy. We're gonna make it pretty. What what was that? Oh my gosh. So the moth is one of the first times where consumer products and our world team actually collaborated on something. You know, so for human settlements, you know, it's easy enough to get like a like human relatable things, you mm -hmm. know, like a little figure, like yeah. a little plush, that kind of thing. But for hive there's no like human connection in there. So what are you gonna do, right? But we've always seen the little fluffy things floating around. Yeah. But you know, what does that really look like? As they try to kill us. Yeah. I yeah. always yeah. die anytime I do wellsprings and I get hit with one of those. I'm yeah. like, I didn't die because of an enemy. I died because of a, a bug. Yeah. And hey. so, <laughs> and so we kind of went back and forth. As a, you know, it, it has to be cute. 
it has no, to be cute. Cool. And it has to be cute, but it still has to feel like it belongs. Yeah. And so it's kind of hard to do thinking of cute and then you're thinking of hive. It doesn't really connect. But then we had to do the hive warm plush too. Oh, so, so, I mean, yes. <laughs> I, I never so I we, think of ever pre-running things faster. <laughs> I mean, come on, like we have to find ways to to make it lovable. There are just these aspects of the world that we all like, you know, mm -hmm. we, we want, yeah. right? And uh, in, in consumer products, we we kind of tap into that. It stems from that love of the game, yep. and we want to create beloved souvenirs, you know, yep. these shared experiences. So it's yes. it's all about that. I, I think and the reminders, like totems of like joy. Right, so, like, an experience. <laughs> it's a trophy of your experience, mm -hmm. but in a way that it's not like, huh, good job, you did something. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's more like, this is cool. And then when people come over, one thing I love, because I have a lot of the, the, the helmet replicas that we sell, and, and like the Stein, the Guardians game Stein. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about oh that. My gosh. And I love it too, because if anybody comes over and they see something like that, they're going to be like, okay, why do you have a, a why do you have a bug and why do I like it? And then you can actually like share your love of the game with them. And that's like a, such a cool connection point of, of just something random out in the wild to a game that, let's be honest, we're basically married to. <laughs> I know. So the, uh, just, just a little anecdote. So the, the box for the, for the moth, yeah. beautiful moth there. Um, well, we gotta put a screenshot of, of the moth in, in the wild, right? Yes. I, I had, I'm sorry, I went into the game <laughs> And I'm standing in the pool where, you know, it's on a little plate. Yeah. And I was just following it around like, this has got to be the guy we're going to take a picture of to put on the box. And I'm just following it around. Uh, that's weirdly wholesome. I know. I'm, I yeah. love it. And I had to, like, you know, give instructions. Can you find the one in the pond? And then I need to hire a screenshot of that. Can you go there? You know, it, you, you go up the long yep. way mm -hmm. in the throne world, and then it opens into this plaza. You don't know where it is. Well, okay, I've got to jump into this key. Yep. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> yo, know, one thing I like about this stuff like this too, and, and just connecting it back to your guys' cosplay is, one, cosplay is just amazing. Oh, I'm yeah. pretty sure everybody can tell that Bungie loves cosplayers because we feature them all the time and we have them all the time and it's amazing. Yes. But one thing I like about like the things like the moth and the replica helmets and even the Nerf Gallahorn that we've got, which oh we're oh. also giving one of those away, just saying, but we only have one to give away. It's pretty neat, it, just saying. And, and it goes with your costume. And the cool thing about the Gallahorn too and the uh, weapons is they're, they're what 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 well, did I call one it? specifically has to be toyetic. Mm -hmm. Toyetic. Yes. Love that word. What, okay, so for anybody that doesn't know, what 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 is toyetic? It cannot be mistaken for a real weapon. Okay, yes. I don't so know too many to, people that have a neon orange rocket launcher, no, so I think no, I, I think that's no, yeah, I think we're safe yeah. maybe. But uh, but that's a term that uh, that we learned from our, par our our wonderful partners at Nerf. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they introduced us to that word, and uh, yeah, we're totally in. Like we're totally, <laughs> we're, whatever you guys want, we're in. This is we're awesome. In. Like, how do we convert something that's pearlescent and you know golden and metallic and you know black and it's great to something more toyetic. It's like, great. And I it's, love it. It's, it's great for us for like when we want to go to conventions. Yes. Because yeah. then you know, oh, I don't have to worry about being like, oh, is this a real thing? No, 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 guys, it's a. It, it's a nerf. It's, it's a nerf yeah. gun. Let me tell you about the time I took a real life size Yolder's hammer to a convention. I had to walk down the street. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're committed. You have to tell us everything. Like you do get like really weird looks. Like what is this? Oh yeah. Doing? Some people kind of look at me a little frightened, and then other people are like, "Well, that's a little too big to be realistic." But um, okay. Uh, oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of weird looks, but uh, it's my favorite thing. But I didn't want to bring it. You should. Sorry. I'm very disappointed in you, and I hope you know that. Chat, can we get some Fs, please? There's pictures <laughs> no. on the internet. Like, I don't. I think I'm the only person that's in Yolder, so you can find Yolder's hammer. Uh, yeah. No, I, I, uh, I think that's gonna be. It's kind of interesting too, because when you go to see cosplayers in the conventions, it's amazing to see all of the things that they build themselves, and. I'm lazy, I'm not gonna lie. So like the fact that I wouldn't have to build anything myself, as if I do cosplay, I'm talented <laughs> enough to do cosplay. I can't even sew a button, it's fine. But I can do, I can do a ring. And I, that's one thing I did want to talk to you guys about because in the Destiny 1, I love to raid, but I, didn't, I couldn't do it a whole lot because I was still active duty. And then Destiny 2, I didn't have a group and I would do look for groups sometimes, but usually I just stuck to the, the stuff that's geared towards solo players. Mm -hmm. But I remember when I did my first raid, like full completion in Destiny 2, I was so excited. And I usually don't 
like to like reminisce and be like, oh, remember that time I was a badass? But like <laughs> the raid rings are a really cool way to do that. But I like the design of we have the new redesign because it yeah. looks very different than previous raid rings, and that's that's cool. I want to like wear a head on my finger. Yeah, <laughs> like that sounds metal. <laughs> it was um, that was actually a really really fun project for us to work on on, on the CP team. Um, so we have a really really awesome partner um, called Rock Love. Uh, they do a ton of they do a ton of jewelry and they're amazing. Um, but uh, Rock Love had come to us and they're like, Hey, we're doing this really cool line of helmet pins. And we were like, Oh, we're still trying to figure out what's the next raid ring. What are we gonna do? And they were like, Well, we have these really cool helmet pins that we've just done or helmet pins, helmet rings. And then we were like, what if, what if we just made it Oryx's head? Is that possible? And she was like, that is an amazing idea. And just, it just, we just were off to the races at that point. It was really cool. And we were like, how, how, like the fact that we can just put his head on a ring, it's just really cool. It sounds awesome. It and sounds it, epic. And it does look <laughs> super, super metal, which is like, yeah, it's like taking it's like, that model off, actually beheading or oh right? <laughs> I just, I remember when we were, there Lauren's was this conversation. Like, coming out like, man, I'm gonna, <laughs> like, we're talking like, kill, you know, it's a head. And she's like, I'm gonna rip that thing off and put it on my hand. Let's go. <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of what you had to do to get the whole thing done. Because, you know, we've got people who work with 3D models on our team. Mm -hmm. And they literally had to, like, yeah. yoink his yeah, little head off and right then off. wrap it up. <laughs> I just, love like, that. The wild things you have to do to like make things work in real life is is kind of yeah. It's pretty, it's a challenge, yeah, but it's fun. Super challenging mm -hmm. with all the robots like Alexa and Google and stuff. It's like sorry NSA, I'm just talking about work. I'm not talking about actually like beheading people. It's fine. I, the no context is chef's kiss. <laughs> oh yeah, I love Here's it. With what cosplayers have to look yeah. up and then like what our job is and like the weird How to stuff. look like you recently got killed. <laughs> oh, just like random stuff that we probably are like looking up in the, to get like inspiration for products mm -hmm. or like, I, I don't know what they're, they're like, what are you looking up on the internet? And I'm like, you know, things? It's, sometimes yeah. you don't need to ask questions. You just need to roll with it. It's it's fine. I, I kind of got to ask too because I know like you and I bonded over just not having any chill ever <laughs> at all. Uh, and I, I really want to hear you guys because like for me, I'm looking at everything that we've offered through the years at Bungie Store and we have the Guardian Cup uh, sign and things like that. It's just so different. I want to know if through the years of you buying merch, because we're fans, what's the one piece that you've bought through the years that just, it felt like it has a personal sentiment to you? Because like, for me, it would be that first raid ring, because that was the first time I felt like I earned something. Oh. I've, well, you know, I never got a raid ring, so that's definitely not gonna be it. Oh, uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, and I've been a part of like the Bungie and Destiny community a very long time. I have like 16 years on Bungie.net. It's disgusting <laughs> or amazing. I don't know, <laughs> but there's a couple of things like first that comes to mind. It's kind of sad, but um, <laughs> my favorite piece was the Warlock. Um, rock, I think they were Rock Love, right? The earrings, yeah. but I can't find them now. So they're uh -huh. gone, but they were my favorite. And then I actually just bought the, um, the helmet, the Celestial Nighthawk helmet for my mom. Yes. Because we play Destiny Aww. together. I and love um, that. She's, a, she's a warlock, or a hunter, sorry. She's a hunter, unfortunately. But um, so I bought it for her and she was so excited. But Aww. if you could please put a warlock helmet in the shop, that would be great because I don't want to make another one. <laughs> I see you looking in the air. Yeah, what, <laughs> mm -hmm. So what about you? What's, 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 what's your. Um, geez. Uh, I kind of think it's probably my DSC jacket. Because I remember, man, I know. Yeah. Was that yours? No, <laughs> I think I couldn't get it. What's yours? Oh, so sad. oh yeah. yeah. My yeah. DSC jacket it. was like I, I worked it. hard for that bad boy. I wish I got the vow yeah. jacket though. The vow jacket's nice. I love. Really I love working that on that. One. But uh, yeah. yeah, no, I just over my head forgot. But yeah, DSC I think was my first raid I did, and then we were doing it every week. We got it down to like 45 minutes at one point. Heck yeah. Yeah. We, we just take my wins. Reasons, we good. <laughs> you know, we take those wins. What about you? Oh, people are gonna hate me for saying it. And nobody but can I have you. the SRL track jacket. Yes. It's oh, my most yeah. prized Yeah, we jacket. can't, we can't so talk I, about I can't. that. We're so gonna I'm sorry, that but that is, that is the thing. Sorry. We're, we're gonna pretend because we, you know, 
F's what in chat, rip. <laughs> R-I-P, yes, sir. Sorry. Like it. We, like, anyway. we like sparrows, we like to race, or in my case, just falling off the cliffs. Oh, yep, correct. It is I'm what still it trying is. to dance on the sparrow. What in the world is all this noise? <sighs> Y'all just, just causing all kind of ruckus. I'm trying to rest. What? Andy, we, you What's can't. Going on, no, Josh? you can't. You can't. We're doing a showcase. You can't. A showcase? Yeah, we're, we're live. For you what? can't. Live? We're Destiny. We just revealed Destiny? Nightfall, Arc 3.0, Season of the Plunder. Oh, that, y'all did that thing? We did, did you not see the trailer? No, child, I was watching my stories. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I gotta, I, we gotta go learn Miss Auntie here. Thank okay, you guys. Okay, let's, go, well, let's go watch the trailer. Oh, we got a trailer? Let's go. <laughs> we got a trailer. Let's go watch the trailer. We're good. <laughs> We're good. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Aramis has broken free. The old crews now rally under her command. I've read about them. It's the, what is the human word? Pirates. The full vanguard should be rallied to deal with these outlaws. Well, anchors away. Now go show those pirates what happens when they cross Spider-Head. Hope you've got ammunition, Guardian. Time to blow this wrinkly barge. Getting a little swept up in all this adventure. How epic was that trailer? I mean, come on. Space pirates. Come on, space pirates. It's amazing. We love it. But now, even though we've had some amazing chats, we got to talk cosplay, we got to talk collectibles, we got to talk galley, we got to talk arc. It's great. We've got a lot of cool things that we're excited to show you guys, excited for you to get your hands on, but what we're really excited about, what I'm personally excited about, and I'm talking about the game. Let's just play. Season of Plunder is live now, so we're actually gonna sit down with some of the devs who helped create this universe and see them fail, hopefully, because it's going to be funny. And then also just seeing what they do and how they build their perfect ARC 3.0 experience. So let's just let's just get into it. Let's uh, throw it to our team. Oh, yeah, baby. It's a pirate party. <laughs> how we doing? We got some members of the dev team, huh? And right up here, what, what's so funny? Why y'all laughing at Uncle? Y'all ain't got them? We're laughing with. We're laughing Nothing. with. Nothing. It's all good. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, baby. Like Same page. As long as you, as you keep it groovy, you know oh, what I'm always. saying? No, stop. <laughs> How you doing, Will, baby? Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to the people at home? Yeah, uh, I'm Will. I'm, I do marketing here uh, at Bungie for Destiny 2. Um, right now, I'm really getting ready to dive into uh, this Warlock Arc 3.0 become a thunderball and oh yeah that's when you be shooting yeah. that lightning out your hand huh? yeah no not just from the hand but like my whole body i move All forward over. and i'm lightning so it's like when the groove take over you just can't help exactly. but feel it. you know what i'm saying exactly all right will baby and we got andy right here what's going what? on baby Andy, how's it going man how you doing? We got we got we got deep flawless on the lawless seas, man. We'll, like this is this is a pretty good way to start the day. Oh come right. on, you know I got to get my pirate on. <laughs> <laughs> I need my plunder. Oh, you never stopped. You never stopped, man. <laughs> never stopped. <laughs> Tell the people what you do at Bungie. Yo, and everyone, I'm uh, I'm Andy. I'm a full time hunter, and I also work on the social media team here at Bungie. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm better than a titan. <laughs> <laughs> very fine, very fine. And right over here, we got my main man, Ray. What you say, baby? How you doing? Hey, not bad, not bad. Yeah, uh, I'm Ray. Uh, I'm one of the test leads for the season, and uh, I'm looking forward to rocking uh, an insurmountable uh, skull fort to try and go infinite with the new Titan Melee. 
Oh yeah, we gonna be showing off all this Arc 3.0. <laughs> how you doing, Leanna? Uncle, how you doing? Oh, you know I'm groovy as always. Well, where'd Auntie go? Oh, she she round here somewhere, child. You know she always mad at something. Uh, uh, we showed her a trailer. She got excited and then just just disappeared. In she the probably went to go play the game, knowing her. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Speaking of playing the games, Nick. Hey. How you doing? I'm doing all right. <laughs> my, um, my fellow Titan, because Titans are the best class. Yeah, I'm, I'm debatable. <laughs> I'm Nick Artizoni. I'm narrative lead for this season, and I'm going to be doing the trademark Titan thing, which is missing my thunder crashes. Yes. <laughs> Just yeah. going real, off somewhere. Real talk. Yeah. You got real, I, feel, I feel like that's the experience. If you didn't miss your thunder crash, are you really playing Titans? You can count on me. <laughs> <laughs> I know it. I like it. Allie, how you doing? I'm good. You're rocking the warlock. You're rocking the space magic. Oh, always. Let's you know go. Me. Yeah. Um, Let's I'm go. Allie. I'm on the consumer products team, as we just chatted about. But yeah, I'm bringing my favorite exotic back in the game, baby. Crowd of Tempest. Let's go. <laughs> Ready. I'm gonna be a Let's sparky go. boy. The sparky boy. I like it. You gotta do Amanda proud though. You're you're rocking her colors, man. You gotta do her proud. I know. I know. You can't disappoint our favorite mechanic. You know? I, I gotta I gotta make her proud. I gotta have a good sparrow, man. It'd be like that. It'd be like that. <laughs> and last but not least, you guys always hear us talk about uh, in Twabs about player support and how they're the heroes that don't wear capes, but they do have spiffy hoodies, and in this case, a spiffy shell to get their pirate on. <laughs> Leah, how you doing? Good, good. Um, hey, I'm Leah. I'm an analyst on the player support team, and I will be rocking the uh, Liar's Handshake Hunter build today. Okay. So, dodging and punching, dodging and punching. Okay, okay. Are you guys like super stoked uh, to get your pirate fantasy on? Oh, yeah. I Can I just say, Drifter humming sea shanties <laughs> is not some, is like, I didn't know I needed that in my life right. until we saw the trailer, and I'm just like, where has this been? It's like an epiphany. Right on. Like, I didn't know I needed that, but now everything in the universe suddenly makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll love to see it. And maybe, hey, Uncle, you're the dance king. You maybe this will make me do a dance. We could do the. I call that the sea shashi. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, wait, you got a sword, though, man. I think. Oh, come on now. Yeah, oh. let's go. <laughs> you know, you know. Even though Uncle got this sword, the funk is the only weapon I need. All okay. Right? <laughs> okay. You don't need a dance partner if you got a sword. Apparently, I like it. Or a rapier. I'm sorry. I'm for the the weapon enthusiasts out there. Kind of sewers, if you will. I want to see these players, uh, what they got to show us. I want to see some Mark 3.0, and I want to see some yeah. uh, Catch Crash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, Andy, I got to make fun of you, buddy. <laughs> what, about this flawless play? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't one wait of, to see you blow yourself up. One it's of us is great. at the lighthouse this weekend. And, That's all I'm saying. Hey, hey. Fair. <laughs> uh, we, we, we love our Andy here. Uh, oh, he recently joined us over on our social team with Griffin. And Shout out to even that. though he's a little bit confused because okay. he's playing Hunter. Okay. We still love him anyway oh, and we're well, excited. Okay. Well, actually, that, that turned out well, actually. All right, that it's better than that. expected, right? That's true, absolutely. No, we can dab to that. Mm. <laughs> My dab partner in crime, I love it. Uh, you up. came at an interesting time. You joined us right when we were wrapping everything up. Yeah, as all this stuff was really getting ready to launch off, it was like, all right, Andy, here's everything. And I was like, as a Destiny fan, I was just like quietly just like losing my mind behind the desktop every day. Like, oh my God, I get to just see all this right away. It was it was very, to my dad, who I play with a lot, it was tough keeping that close to the vest. So right? thank you for understanding. Oh, look, they, they, they flying yeah. into the game. Oh, it's time. All right, so oh. what we do? we're gonna go into the new activity of catch. Catch crash. Look, catch crash. Are we gonna yeah. are we gonna destroy? Look good. I wanna go play this. I'm gonna I'm gonna let y'all get to it. I'm gonna be right back. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. He's gonna go get his dance on. We're gonna get our explodey on and our arc on. I'm excited. And they say that uh, people that can't do teach. <laughs> um, that is there's a reason I'm not the one playing. <laughs> But I'm, I'm stoked to see you guys this build. I feel like uh, Solar 3.0, like for me, Void made sense because I, I'm a Void main, so I was like, okay, I'm ready to like squeeze every juice. And Solar, I've never really felt Solar like I did with Void. So it took me a little bit longer, but then when I found that build, it was like God. It was like, I, <laughs> it was amazing. It was incredible. It's so like this one I'm actually excited about because when I did play Warlock, because I play all three characters, share the love, the, the, okay, the, I'll give you that. The rain? Right? Right. That's good. Right. Oh, That's no Fallis, where have you been? I, I, we have a showcase to do. I don't know. Uh, apparently, my auntie was here and my uncle. I hope they didn't do anything to embarrass me. Um, if they did, I'm sorry. Um, what are we doing? A little catch crash here? Getting, crash, getting powered on. Oh, yeah. On. I'm, I'm excited, too, because we've got um, Nick here, which you saw earlier on the stream. 
and he is uh, our narrative, and he's brain is incredible. Like the amount of things this dude does it's is okay. incredible with his team. <laughs> Uh, and he also rocks a fake mustache, very nice, but you don't get to see that this time. Maybe next, maybe next showcase. Hey, say the thing. Oh, the, oh, say the thing. Yeah. Am, I, am, say am the I in say the thing level now? Pirates. Yeah, there, there we go. go. Let's go. I love it. Very nice. So we're, uh, we're showing off a little Arc 3.0 and Catch Crash, right? We are, we are. We're gonna board some pirate ships. We're gonna recruit some uh, pirate NPCs to do some damage. Uh, I like this because, okay, so I'm, uh, anybody that's ever played a shooter with me, they know like there's chaos and then there's me. Like there's no <laughs> rhyme or reason. Like I'm the one that shoots everything and they're like, where's her aim? And I'm like, you don't know what I'm aiming at. I'm aiming at the floor, <laughs> I'm aiming at the sky. I'm hitting I'm my just shots, spraying. you don't know where I'm running. <laughs> and I, and it's, it's really cool because like all those times you see in the game where you see all those ships, but you can't really actively engage in them. They're just in cutscenes. And now, you can board them, you can take them down, you can show them who's boss, and it's... But there's a, an interesting narrative, too. We've got Minthrax back. Uh, I, wanna, I wanna hear from you. Like, what's, what's, what the heck there's, is there's, going on, man? so much stuff I can't say on day one, but <laughs> Aramis, Aramis is back in the game. Yes. Something woke her out of her uh, stasis prison. Okay. And um, she, she gathered some of the ancient pirate, the Elixir pirate captains. And uh, we need to find people who know something about that. So we talked to our old buddy, Mithrax. Mithrax talks to his old buddy, Spider. And uh, Mithrax is involving uh, his daughter, Ido, this season. She's, uh, she's a scribe oh. of House Light. You may remember her from Season of the Splicer. Yes. Um, and, and Drifter's there singing the soundtrack the whole time. So As he should. I love it. As he should. It's about time we finally started appreciating him in all his full glory, OK? The man has a voice of an angel. An angel. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. I love it. And we're showing off, let's see here, one of the cool things that I wanted to see, even though I'm a hunter man, and we're gonna get to why hunters are so awesome, right? We're gonna address that, because that's, you know, we can save the best for Is life. this where friendships end? <laughs> I thought we had something. It's worth tested at the very least. Yeah, we're, we're, testing, we're testing boundaries here. One of the cool things I wanted to see in action, Warlock has this cool ability to just turn into a ball of lightning. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is really cool, actually. Like Will, <laughs> show me, show me how this thing looks in action. Yeah, you just. Well, let me see if I can get in. Oh, right here. Okay, so we're gonna slide and melee, and they just killed it for me. But I just uh -oh. did it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, yeah, everyone. I promise he Great. did it. Yes, I promise <laughs> I became a lightning ball. I promise. Okay, well we'll try. We'll come back around. I want to see this thing take out some, take out some bad guys. Anything else we're showing off today? I see a jug shield over here. Jug shield is back? Dude, everything's back. <laughs> <laughs> the world doesn't make sense anymore, and it's glorious. All right, Lee. What are we doing? Uh, you... Try not to die to these turrets. Oh. They... Hey, you survived a thunder crash? Or is that your team? <laughs> Never mind, just kidding. <laughs> that was me. It's I not PvP. What's up? Oh, squaddy wise. Ah! Spoldy boys! You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Dude, I've had a, so many, I think I work too much and play too much Destiny because I actually had a dream the other day yeah. that I was being chased by the Spoldy boys. No! But then I shot them and they like exploded yogurt and it was really gross oh. and weird and awkward okay. and it's, yeah, I don't know why I brought I that, that up because like, it's very disgusting. Though, right? Fun, refreshing twist. I don't know. <laughs> I can't imagine anything in a, in a Spoldy boy would be fresh. It's probably like curdled. But who and... doesn't like a good yogurt? Oh. That's fair. It's good for the digestive <laughs> track, okay? It's good. Uh, I want to talk to D. I want to let them play. I want them to, they're going yeah. on a boss fight. I want to see what they're doing. I want to hear from you, though. This is your first showcase with us. And I, you, you got to actually talk to leadership and the people behind it. Like, looking at this now, what are your thoughts on Season of Plunder? Season of Plunder, um, I literally just cannot wait to get my hands on it. I'm jealous of all these guys right. sitting here playing right now. I just want to, you know, I want to blink as a hunter. I want to try out the new super. I want to jolt people. I want to run fast. I want to hit people in the face. I I'll play a little Titan Warlock, but you know, you know, I always come back home. <laughs> It's okay. It's, it's okay. You know, I'll convert you. I'll, I'll just, I'm, I'll change you. I'll yeah. make you better. Okay. okay. <laughs> we'll see. But no, I, it's, it's been a blast. This is incredible. Love talking with the devs and all their insights and everything they had to ask. I'm just so happy to be here and, and just see all of this going down live. And 
My clan and I were talking uh, when we were watching the actual main showcase and we were all hanging out. I was, I was talking to my clan on Discord and, and they were just losing their minds. I mean, talking like totally like non-coherent, <laughs> weren't making a lick of sense, which really typically isn't different than usual, but in this case, it, it actually did make sense. But I'm like excited because these kind of activities, I know, you know, sometimes they're not for everybody. Everybody comes to Destiny for a different reason. But I like these activities because one, they keep me coming back. It ties mm -hmm. into the overall story. And it's just a cool thing to run with friends, but if you need to, you know, go with other people or if you wanna just kinda go with randoms or whatever. <laughs> you wanna thundercrack Nick. You know. You know. All this guardian on guardian violence. It's violence, man. <laughs> it's great. Can I watch this one? Dude, that looks so sick, though. I that like how, like, Hunter has, like, ballerinas, almost. Oh, man. <laughs> they're, like, I mean, they're always yeah. known for movement, but here, I feel like something about the arc makes it majestic. Graceful lightning <laughs> ballerinas. Grace <laughs> you feel pretty. Is that, oh, that's why you like Hunter. You're like, I want to feel pretty. I deserve this. I do. You do. We all do. You do. You do. You do. I like it. I really like the, I, I, like, I know as soon as we get to play, as soon as we get to play, I'm not even gonna start the missions or anything. I'm gonna get all the armor, and I'm just gonna be <laughs> like five hours in the shooters. Gotta, yeah. Get that. You gotta get the me. fashion just right. Yeah. And we got the Fortnite fashion we get to play around with. Okay. So <laughs> funny story. The best kept secret. The, be the best kept secret. I know nobody knew about it going into this showcase. You know, we're just really good at secrets here. So if you have any, hit us up. <laughs> Uh, but I, I like it because, like, before I joined Bungie, I was a journalist. And a big focus of mine for a couple of years was writing, like, Fortnite guides and getting in there and having to, like, know all the nuance. And so it's so cool now to come here. And we actually, like, have an official collaboration. It's here. And I'm not going to lie, that Warlock drip for Fortnite is, is dope. <laughs> it's yeah, so good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> right? <laughs> Like, if you want to take me off of a hunter, lead with the warlock fashion. I mean, they're, they're, they're looking kind of drippy. You got to do it, man. <laughs> you got to do it. I, you can't fight crime if you ain't cute. Right. And I don't care. I am I am absolutely the player that I'm going into a raid or something. They're like, change out to this, change out to this. And uh, you will be able to uh, change, you know, change out of whatever and to get the load out and everything. But with... Me, it's like, I don't care if this doesn't do anything for my proccing. <laughs> I just want to look pretty. I want to wear the crown of Tempest. It doesn't matter if I'm running solar. <laughs> Looks like Will's got some uh, some action going on over here. What are, we, what are we getting into, Will? Are we almost up on our melee? Uh, now I am. Okay, um, okay. Now we just need to get to some enemies so that hopefully I can, you know, get one or two. <laughs> now we're going to become the lightning. While we're waiting for that, why don't you tell us what you're excited about? Um, I'm really just excited as a, uh, a lifelong warlock. Um, I'm just excited to see how Arc 3.0 just really plays and figuring out what my next build will be. Um, I'm really loving uh, the sniper um, drawing a blank because okay, that, cloud strike. Yeah, cloud strike. Okay. Thank you. Um, Shoot and stuff like, and make stuff go boom. Exactly. What's not to like? Electrocute them, <laughs> blow them up. You know, thunder from above. Why not? Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so we are we have head to the bridge where we're waiting for some enemies here. A little dance party, a little cat dance going on. It never stopped. Huh? It never stopped. <laughs> Uncle was here earlier. Where's, we got the phone. Uh, we're ready. Uncle, you know, he was. I told him to stay in the car. All right, fair. All right, that's fair. He, he, decided, to, to, he decided to come in on his own, so. Um, man about town. I'll have to talk to Uncle and Auntie. Apparently, she barged in earlier. Oh, and, she, but she, um, she said just a jam. Did she catch her stories in time? Or? <laughs> I, 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 all right, okay. I'm just going to assume. I'm going to assume. That's all right. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> we, just, we talked about just my, dance just party my own going spirit. On. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Just, oh, no, the cat dance. Man, that feels personal. <laughs> <laughs> that feels personal, man. That, I, the, the, okay. I'm just getting a 2.5 okay, rating. Oh, we, we got a vibe uh, because yeah, yeah. I, than that. I can't be the good. only yeah, one yeah, that... Yeah. The cat dance is like the crypt tonight. Everybody I, does this to me in my I, clan every time we turn I, a corner. I can't. It's 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 intimidating, and it has no it's, right being that intimidating. You're a cat ear dance, man. No, Leon, no. I think you're wrong. It's the best emote. It in the is. Game. I'm honestly. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. A two, Allie. 
Yeah. I'll just stay with it you. Too. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> okay, sorry, girl. Objectively, the best. <laughs> it is the best one. Objectively. That Objectively. and excessive elbow dance. Those are my. Those are the two best yeah. ones. I do like elbow that. dance. Yeah. I, I feel like as much as we Ooh. dab, I'm so sad I missed the dabbing emote. <laughs> I feel like that was that was made for me, you know. Why, why use an emote when you can just dab in real life? <laughs> it's what we do. That's it's, called a segue. That's called. A, <laughs> that's called a segue. I like it. All right, looks can, like we're loading up our second game here. I, and you guys are playing on your own characters, like these are your characters that you're yeah. used to. Mm -hmm. Nice. This is my baby. Yeah. Nice. You're beautiful. Yeah. Oh, my beautiful hunter child. Oh, I love it. Fashion, though. I love it. Smart it's smart it's beautiful. You don't see that set a whole lot anymore. I like it. You know, it looks very medieval meets <laughs> face just, magic. You just got to match your crown, man. I've, I've you do. Through it's, all true. The it's true. It's very true. So, uh, so what did you guys think about Catch Crash? How do you feel? You think the players are going to be excited to get their hands on it? I love it. It's yeah. it's one of those modes where you could just like literally go in and it's it, there's different things to do and you just attack and it's just like full on jump to a ship and just yeah definitely going in for the whole pirates and you know just pirates doing pirate and, stuff, you know, right? I've got a buckling <laughs> and all of that. I've got a dead man's tail at home with way too many kills on it. It's just going to get way more, honestly. Like all these these shanks are just waiting. I'm not and that's gonna kind of a pirate weapon, hands, right? Yeah. DMT. Oh, oh yeah. it fits right okay. in. Okay, I, I need to. I'm kind of disappointed in you guys, like honestly. Uh, oh wow! Uh -oh. Because uh -oh. we've we've really made fun. it through an entire activity, and I haven't heard one pirate. <laughs> so like, we need to fix this. Liana, what are you waiting for? Yeah. <laughs> Disappoint. <laughs> you never disappoint, oh, Allie. This, we uh, love it. Look at this load-in animation. This load-in animation is so oh, that's good. So right sick. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful it is. That's, all the fits. Do you, you have photo finisher on? Titans, Titans are. No, 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 no. That looks I'm great. seeing some fashion. <laughs> the most beautiful class. And it's true. There's no contest. It's true. I don't know. Facts. My robes would like to differ, Nick. I fight me. I can wear a bathrobe. I don't like bathrobes in I, real I, I look life. <laughs> hey, at least we're comfy. Gosh, having such big shoulders, how do you get through doors? You wear formal gowns. I'm just who is this it's juggernaut like, titan? It's giving me flashbacks. You can also reach the top shelf because we're big I boys. Need, is this you, it's Nick? Beautiful. Are you the juggernaut? I'm. I'm just the guy who goes <laughs> and then punches him super hard. They walk behind me by the time I get my punch off, but gotcha. I, yeah. I try. The real question is, does anybody, cool do does anybody have gala Does anybody have gala horn effects? No. Okay. I want to see some gala horns because I want to see who blows themselves up first. <laughs> No. Because it's going to happen. No, Why would you even say <laughs> right. that? Because it's it's self-fulfilling prophecy, man. You've played with right. me. You know how I do with Galahorn. Place your bets in chat. You know. Who's blowing themselves up Who's first? Who's blowing themselves up? And also for chat, since you're here, uh, you want your own Galahorn. We have a Nerf Galahorn that we are giving away. Again, sorry, it's just like the collector's edition. This is a North American opportunity only, just because of shipping reasons, and also you know it's really hard to explain to customs what a Galahorn is. Uh, but if you if you get it. And you win, and you're not, not US, you're good. you're good. You're so good. We'll get you something so else to make sure you feel so when you're, when you're like you really want something. <laughs> I love it. I want to see, like, you guys are so, like, cohesive, too. I Usually, oh, I'm, like, the blue the dot that they're like, where'd Leanna go? Oh, and I'm, like, dead Very off nice. of the cliff somewhere. <laughs> it's totally normal. <laughs> I like it. I like I it. So know. what I'm seeing is the spiky Sonic Bros. Body pillows in our future, maybe? Liana, stop a me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a personal call out to me, me, <laughs> me alone. Look, maybe one day we'll work on it. I, dreams do come true. We just gotta manifest. Isn't that like exactly. the TikTok thing? It's manifest. It it's fine. It's totally fine. I love it. So, how, how are you? This is your guys' second one. How are you feeling? Do you feel like the second go is a little bit more, you, you kind of know what everybody's play style is? I'm just here for chaos mode. Yeah. Did it happen again? Yeah. Somebody else it did. It like shot me off the ship. It shot me to the ship, but like it, the trajectory just didn't line itself up. It, it just reminds me of that Thank one. You. Was it Inverted Spire where you used to just like smoosh your face right into the wall? Yeah. <laughs> All yeah, I heard like was that. see what just... happened was. What happened? What happened? See I'm the just way saying, my jump I'm set up. I'm supposed to. <laughs> I'm so excited. This is. This is just great. I think, I don't know, new seasons always feel really exciting, but I feel like this one is, I don't know, it feels special just because I think we've seen people want pirates for so long, but because it's such an out there idea for space magic, I think that nobody actually thought it was going to happen. Pirates hit different. They do hit different. They do hit different.
And uh, these are nice pirates because we're a T-rated game. Oh. It's gold. <laughs> but they're still booty. They're still booty. There's booty. There's an excuse to make booty jokes. <laughs> uh, and honestly, that's that's what I live for. <laughs> I'm uh -oh. sad. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Get that booty. Do he got that booty though? <laughs> he knew. Oh, no. Where did my friends go? <laughs> friends? <laughs> oh, okay. The door Wait, are we joining behind? Joining oh, allies. No. Oh, okay, it's just me. Who's speed, speed running? No, we're <laughs> listen, listen. Who did I, it? I just followed the little diamond. <laughs> the little diamond told me. We I have don't more time. I promise. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you. I have faith in you. I don't get okay. squished. Don't what's, get squished. What's oh, these, oh, yeah. What's these glowing orbs? We're seeing these glowing orbs. What? What is that? These like, ones? Yeah, they're like the mini bubbles. Yeah, so they protect the boss when he gets to a certain level of health, so we have to blow him up so we can hit him more. Nice, so this is a really team-dependent activity. Yeah. Everybody needs to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like it's kind of easy to get into the same page with this? Like, is it intuitive? Do well, you... there's two of them here, so, you know, if you split into two, maybe you can uh, be more time Wait, efficient. there's two walkers. Yeah, there yeah. are two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Double, <laughs> double the pain, there double the fun, is. you know? That's copyrighted. Oh, I just that. That's okay. We're not you gonna can't say that. That's okay. That? That? No one's sorry. Dude, I, I, uh, I'm excited. This just feels satisfying. Like watching Nick with the freaking launcher just floating around like a butterfly because titans are the true epitome oh. of grace. Okay. Everything Looks like Leah's got a super up. I know I'm not here. Let's see this new Hunter super. Hunter super, let's Leah's go. Got it. Wait for him to... Wait from the knock. You gotta take Let the shield the down. Hold on, hold on. Alright, we're gonna cast it. Alright, jumping alongside Leah here. She's got an active <laughs> super. The boss has their shield up, working to get it down. Oh, Boom, the shield goes down. It. Leah pops the super! Yeah. He's joking! Combination <laughs> blowing! You love to see it. You see Dude, all that electricity oh, I flying. Got I got you, I got you, I got you. Nice. You're fine, you're fine. And gets the you, revive. All right, we need, we, need, we need to see more of this. Who's got a super up? I want to see a super. more active super? Did y'all oh, all pop at the same time? Yes, Andy's got, got mine. one. I got mine. And I got let's, oh, it's, yeah. are you Hunter also? Yeah. So nice, play it twice. All right, let's drop this. <laughs> let's drop this shield and show this super up. Or just shoot the shield. That works too. I thought we got the last one. Should I get the last one? Andy throwing yeah. for content. It's yeah, right. So it's, you know, I had to make sure everyone else could like feel comfortable around me. It's such a Report pro. Report for AFK, player. please. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, it's the whole thing. <laughs> okay, right, looks like Ray's getting close. Will's got one. Got one. Oh. Right. Are the Wait. shields actually down? Okay, before? They are now. They are now. Yeah, okay, shield okay, it down. Garrett, shield it down. Here I go. All right. So what, okay. D. What are you yeah, rocking? Got, what are you gonna got rock for 3.0? What's your build? What's your build look like? For 3.0, I'm really thinking I want to try out the lucky raspberries. Okay. I hear that they're already great. I was playing around with it before the new season dropped. Yeah. And you know, I got some secrets. I got some tricks up my sleeve that I may or may not be posting on some. You know. We'll talk about that I heard later. nothing. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, Lucky Raspberry, being able to chain those enemies, get your super back really fast, yeah. get your energy back really fast, uh, clear ads, and also uh, I want to get my hands on Liar's Handshake. That's going to be really yes. strong the as a yes. hunter. And I'm just never taking Blink off. It, they gave it back to There's me. No my baby to. is home where she belongs. You keep that so and close. <laughs> you cherish it. You tell it it's it. pretty and that you value it. It's, it's great. Okay. What about you? What are you, uh, what are you gonna be rocking? I want, okay, so for my Titan, I, I already know Falling Star. We already talked about it. I can't wait to biff so many Thunder Crashes in the future. It's gonna be wonderful. Okay, uh, looks like Ray's got his, uh, his melee up. You his ready? Yeah. Melee, yep. let's do it. You oh, just need to we find somebody warlock. to punch okay, in the face. It. All right, so Ray's gonna find somebody to punch in the face. Let's please see don't, it. Please don't make it me this time. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Engage! Uh, Engage! Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I mean, it would make for good entertainment. I just remember from the first punch this morning. We <laughs> you had that one coming, though. So, In fairness, yeah. yeah. I didn't drink coffee. I get it. It's, it's part of the territory. I will. So there's multiple levels. All right, here we go. Let's see this super. All right. Oh! See, that's cool. That oh. is really cool. I'm going to be playing on my here's, Oh, lot. boom! He just. What? <laughs> oh, you got that thing on fast cooldown. Yep. So what are you doing? Beautiful. Dev hacks confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Skull skull boy. Here Insurmountable <laughs> skull for it. There you go. You see, you see in the tricks and, and tips right here. You said dev. 
<laughs> That's one thing I want, is I want, everybody accuses us of dead loot. <laughs> then explain why I still don't have Hearthstone, okay? <laughs> why don't I have, it took me what? A long time to get Vex, but it was really pretty when I got it. I felt so accomplished. I was like, dude, that was worth it. It was good. Mm -hmm. That's like the second time I've I want the it. dev loop. That's one rumor I want to be true. Make it true, Bungie. Please, for the love of God. I want everything. Yeah, that Titan Punch looks pretty deadly. I can't wait to go up against it in the Crucible. <laughs> Turn around a corner. How you doing, my love? I'm doing great. I'm I'm hey. just okay. Hold on. I'm, there you go. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to become a thunderball. Did you and really just powerful. punch each other? <laughs> so after this, we're gonna do one more game of catch crash. There we go. And um, wonderful. Man, this is looking right. really fun. Can't oh, wait to get my hands on it. For anybody still watching, make sure to use the drops for the Twitch drops that we've got. We've got that shiny new emblem that you can earn. Uh, we're also doing giveaways for the Collector's Edition. We're doing giveaway for the Nerf Gallifarn for North American players. And uh, feel for us, because we want to be playing right now. It's really hard to watch everybody else <laughs> yeah. have fun, OK? Just this, push somebody out of the and chair. Right? <laughs> if Sparta kicks somebody, be like, no, it was an accident. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't just kick that person out of the chair so I can steal their character. Just do a little, oh, and who's got the new exotic fusion wrong. rifle? I'm rolling with that. Okay. You've so, got it? So tell us a little bit about this thing. I, I love fusion rifles. Now, if I was rifles. responsible, I would go in and read the uh, perks. <laughs> but to me, it feels like ah. when you just hip fire it, it goes like this. And then when you zoom in and fire it, it goes like, woo! <laughs> there you go. Wah wah or woo woo. Oh, woo. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ulu campaign. This is the Ulu campaign. That's the official oh language. <laughs> Dude, I. Mm, this looks so good. I can't believe we get to like just board ships and take them. That's awesome. Well, we're pirates. That's epic, dude. Like, I, <laughs> pirates are cool. I don't care who you are, how old you are, pirates are freaking cool. Do you know any sea champions? <laughs> Because I don't. I'm wait, 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 Yeah, what's the one from from the, the, the game with the thing where it's like, oh, uh, I once was, do, 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 do. I don't know the lyrics to this song. <laughs> Is that it? Is that it? That's I'm the lyrics, sure, I'm, right? I'm going, I'm following your lead. <laughs> I, and I know like everybody else is probably mesmerized by the beautiful angelic <laughs> voice that just came out of me. That was, I'm that sorry. was epic. Shed a single tear. I also really like, just side note, not gameplay related, but the little fallen mugs are More dance breaks happening. Mm -hmm. The small and are so freaking cute, man. It is the best. Keep going. All right, so it looks like we got a boss coming up. Well, it appears oh that Aramis has hijacked yet another catch crash for us. <laughs> <laughs> that scurvy dog. Uh, what are you? Oh, I thought okay. you were fighting somebody. Yeah, uh, I was like, what are you doing? Like, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Go that far. <laughs> Awesome. Wait for just it's pretty, sh it's not like a super long okay. activity too, so which is nice for when you're getting those resets it's like in. something's loading. So this is the uh, the great loading pastime of Guardians. Oh yeah, we're they familiar. just bust in a move. Bust in a move. That's how you make friends. You the tower friendships dance. of emotes are the best types of friendships. You got a little, I gotta make sure I use the right language here. We got a worm. We got the sword. Fun's over everyone. I saw a little uh, fancy that dance. Dance. I do like our dance emotes. Okay. We have some pretty so good dance emotes. So it looks like you emotes. all have to go together to the bridge? All right. Let's kick some yeah. butt. All right, <laughs> so let's move to the bridge, everybody. All right. I want to see Titan Smash. I want to see us take down these bosses. What do you think? Show what do you, the people what do you... at home oh, who's help. the best. Whoever oh. gets the final blow. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, 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 Hunter, oh, Warlock, it. or Titan. Oh. There we go. Oh, yep. That's the true That's the true. Okay. Right. Here we go. All right. this Nick, is the no test. pressure. Right. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure. Check. Whoever this gets out. the final blow. I'm going to jump real high in the sky. And that's, then you know, I'm going to. You want a lifetime um, supply of <laughs> Perfect. Kinda, oh, he has to leave. Oh, crap. Okay. That's cool. Dude, I, 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 let's go. Oh. Here we have, okay, so this is yeah. Bombastic. There We're we on go. the bridge. Bombastic, yes. Bombat, you like that, I huh? like it, I like I it. I looked that, that one up last night. I like it. <laughs> That's smooth. I said, I'm going to use it once, at least. Oh, man. I, a total, total pivot from the conversation. Apologize. I just can't stop thinking about it. Shanty, right? uh, are you right? Are you world's first thing going for world's first for King's uh, Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm going for world's first. <laughs> world's 100. We're, yeah. 
world second week? I'm going, I'm going for fun. <laughs> That's why we like it. If we win, we win. I'm actually really excited because King's Fall uh, is the one raid from Destiny 1 I never got to play. Really? And I refused all play testing. I refused to see it early. I was like, I want to go in completely oh. blind. So oh I've, I've heard God. that there's some, oh some jumping. Oh. <laughs> oh God, what happened? Victory! Brilliant. Gonna get back up. Oh, we got you. We got you. Boom. Yeah, I will let you know it's good legs. when everybody goes. Oh, spectacular. Hype <laughs> moments. Hype moments. All right. Got another super. Let's go. Okay, we gotta take. What we, so we got a nice bunch tether. of tether. Servitors. Nice tether that's keeping the boss safe. Love to Don't see that. Don't go down, that. Nick. Your health's getting kind of low. You, oh, you can do fine. this. You're fine. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's a titan, baby. Okay. He's good. All right. yeah. I just want to see if I can get in his head a little bit. <laughs> Don't let him win. <laughs> Don't let him win. Hey, Andy, is your like game crashing or like you think you need to step away for I mean, a second? Yeah, like, oh, destroying oh, so what? much stuff, it might seem that way, yeah, but you know, I don't know. When you do yeah. as much as the hunters do, you know. Oh, just jump you. around just gotta, into walls. Look, first of all, blink yes. around, okay? Blink, blink around. Now we got, uh, and second of all, yes, totally. We got all our, true. All our crewmates me. here. They're and singing sea shanties in the, in the game. Sea oh, shanties. And who's singing sea shanties? In game sea shanties. That'd be Drifter and Ido. Yeah, and, if you, uh, yeah. and if you emote at your crewmates, they will emote back at you and celebrate. <laughs> yeah, it's an in-game feature. I love it. I love it. I just love these guys digging for treasure on the left over here. <laughs> 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 So this is, they don't care about treasure everything treasure else going on like, around yeah. them. They're just I like, just we got to get this treasure. They're happy, yeah. <laughs> They're happy to be here for sure. I just want the gold. I think if I ever found gold like that, I don't even think I would steal it. I would just roll around in it like Darling Duck or whatever like the, his name uh, is. Yeah, like, Darkwing Duck, yes. Like the, the duck that shall not be that's named. Scrooge McDuck. Yeah. 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 Darkwing Duck gets dangerous. Yeah. It's not too ship shit. It's dangerous. I don't know, it's, I'm it's old. Scrooge. <laughs> it's Scrooge McDuck. Is it Scrooge? Yeah. Scrooge. It's been a while. See, this is why I don't make cartoons. You make All right, so we got one more catch crash. And then, you know, as much as I love hanging out with you, yeah, we after this catch it. crash, uh, I want to get my hands on the game. All right, so let's load it up one more time and show the people at home how it's done. Yes. Yes. Hunters. Oh, where, where's you know Warlocks? Do, right? Nobody's wrecking Warlocks. You know what? I'll vote for you. Warlocks got it. Warlocks continue no, to look fashionable. Us. Yeah, I'm like, right. where's you the got Titans it. representation? You got it. I'm sorry. Punch stuff. Yeah, Warlocks <laughs> are the smartest people in the room. Yeah. Absolutely. I see go. that with the utmost. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say, and this is what no one likes Warlocks. <laughs> This is why nobody likes Warlock, Sally. Because <laughs> of that. <laughs> I'll take a Warlock on my team. You know what? I'll, in, in all fairness, I'll take them all. You know, I, I'll be the fashionable one doing all the DPS and all the hard mechanics and all, everything else. But you know, but you're we, not we need DPS. the bubble and we tanking. need the well. We do need the so. bubble. I do. I do like. I, I, I am that toxic player in Trials. <laughs> That uh, pops bubble right at the last second, so you think you have hope, oh. but you have no hope. That's just called a winning strategy, all right? That's just normal. I, I'm not yeah. familiar with winning it's strategies, though. You play okay. trials right, with me. You know this about me. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. I'm not proud. There is, you just see red, and you just go for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, we got no, some no, new loot no, drops. No, no, no. Hang on. Hold on. Oh, loot no, drops. I got it. Okay. Live. Oh, okay. Yeah. Blood okay. feud. Shotgun. What is this? Dude. Show these weapons off. I got, yeah, I hold gotta on, see. I gotta see what everybody got. I gotta right see what everybody got. What do you got? Oh, oh, too late. Nice. I just I gotta, gotta read this home. lore real quick. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. blood feud. Oh, look at that. I will be using it. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's worth it. Nice impact. Fourth time to charge. Oh, no. It's a I love explosive payroll. I do too. Is that a blunder bus? Yeah, look at this thing. Why it's not? so it's pretty. Cool. Also, it right. doesn't have any damage. What's it do? Exactly. So, so yeah. Why not? Yeah. I love it. You can pick targets from away. We got linear fusion. Oh, See, that looks like a like a rocket launcher to this me. This is awesome. Okay, I'm we're showing off some it. new weapons. You got a good roll too. This is great. Okay. He's like, I'm pretty He's like, I know. I'm naturally awesome. Thank you for noticing. Thanks for finally getting with the program. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the SMG. Ooh, S -O. Nice. I want to see how that does. Uh, yeah, I want to see how that one goes. You check out the SMG. I want to check out this but, uh, slug shot gun that Leah got over here. Dude, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Incandescent made me love shotguns. It, it's such a good perk. And so, like, now I'm excited to actually, because I never gave shotguns a chance until that. Just give me incandescent on everything. Yes. 
just make me incandescent. I'm fine with it. I'll just blow up everybody around me. It's cool. <laughs> We've just be a cursed role. Then. <laughs> it's yeah. It's totally normal. Everything's fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. <laughs> we're not Gucci, but we're like Salvation Army closed on a Sunday. <laughs> it's fine. So Nick's got a new weapon. Yeah, they. I mean, everybody got like something. It's awesome. Oh, like, this a thing. Oh, weapon. it looks. So what's the RPM on this bad boy? Tell us about this SMG. It feels like it's like a <laughs> kind of <laughs> RPM, uh, which is pretty good. Can we, can, can, we, can we get, I love can we get the that a second time? <laughs> no, no, you, you never will. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm the lore guy. I'm not the weapons guy. Feels real good to click. <laughs> go. It seems to kill people. If you yeah. shoot it enough times, it does its job. There you go. It's fun. Oh, man. And then so, oh, right. what I'm excited is Sniper. The so Sniper mod we got. With the new, mm -hmm. I'm just like I'm like planning so my many builds. Things. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Everybody gets to play, and I'm already like smoking out my builds. So, <laughs> so Will's got a new weapon. What do you got, Will? I've got a new uh, scout rifle that oh. feels really good. It has four times four times the charm and explosive payload. Um, but the feel of it just it, it feels right. It I love feels that. Good. I'm a feels kind of guy. Exactly. There's certain there's certain <laughs> weapons where you know you shoot it once and you're like, and eh, no, it's not for me. But this scout rifle is. You know right away is, uh, that you like this. One. I, I like it. I like it. I, right. you're, 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 you're. I just, I'm so proud. I'm just so proud of the teams. I know I'm not supposed to do that. We're, we're doing, we're doing the casual gameplay thing. But I just, I am. I've, I'm thinking of all the people that make this come together. There's so many. I think a lot of players don't understand how many teams are involved in things like this. It's not one person. It's not one team. And if one team, you know, you have to have that cohesion, that alignment. If you don't, it feels weird. And they have like all of the environmentals, the weapons, how they feel, how they look, how they sound, how they interact with others. It's just, it's, it's magical. It's crazy. And you got to meet a lot of the people yeah. that did seeing, this. Seeing how it all works behind the scenes is incredible. Like Ray here has a new heavy weapon. What do you got, Ray? I'm sure this is magical as well. Got a new linear fusion rifle. Feels pretty good. Outlaw and what else? What else was on it? Outlaw. That was a good grenade throw. Thanks. <laughs> Outlaw, Outlaw Frenzy. That was, that was good. Oh, that was amazing. That sounds like a spicy roll. I feel like you need an arc buddy, Outlaw though. Outlaw Frenzy. Do you do the sound effects like Nick does? Nah, I don't. No, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it comes that to at the, the right okay. time, OK? <laughs> you can't rush perfection. What would the sound effect for this linear be? No, he, he's, he's equipped with dignity. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, my god. Hey, at least we don't have a weapon this time that shoots an animal. Like worms, what? <laughs> like a sassy worm that likes oh, to sass you and thanks. judge you for all of your life choices. You didn't like that? You mean the crazy? I liked it. I just game? felt very inadequate <laughs> after. <laughs> like I'm sorry, worm. I'll do better. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I feel like I had a friend. It was kind of nice. Really? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we, about it. we must Make protect up. worm at all costs. Maybe I just have a problem with authority. I don't know. We'll explore <laughs> that later. That, that's a therapist talk. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, chain lighting is so good. Oh. I was about to say, I, I think that's my favorite thing about ARC. I just saw a bunch of stuff just light up. I think that's it's my so favorite good. thing about ARC is you can see the reaction damage. Yes. And you don't always get that with every subclass if it doesn't line up perfectly. So when you see like that visualization, you just feel awesome. Like you feel epic, like you feel like nobody can touch you and then you die two seconds later because then you were talking about how great you were. All right, so Ray, it looks like you got, what do you have, a ball here? Ball here. Oh, oh someone took it. I'm <laughs> someone... sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was mine. <laughs> We love Sorry, balls right? here at Destiny. Wow. We do love balls here at Destiny. That's true. Orbs. How many orbs? So many, many orbs. Is there a way we can rephrase that? Would you, would you, would you, would you say you're pondering the orbs? Orbs. Perpetually. Perpetually pondering Always. the orbs? Perpetual. Nice. Per, 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 perpendicular. What? <laughs> Bro, I can't help you there. Sorry. <laughs> I cannot help you there. The Andy, what do you got going on? Me, back to the dead man's tail. I got null composure as well, just because I'm Dude, living that fusion good. rifle life. Yeah. I also got a linear one as well. Same as okay. Red. This uh, is the new linear, same roll with everything. Uh, I don't think it's the same roll. I think it's, a, I think it's an okay roll. It's sideways and focused here. Sideways, focused. Okay. And okay. I'm doing a lot of sliding around since I got uh, Lyra Sanchez on. I'm just doing anything I can to close the gap. Some sustained boss DPS for oh, Focus yeah. Fury. Right? Wherever I can. You gotta do social proud, man. A quick slidey reloads, perfect for Absolutely. Hunter. Absolutely, yeah. 
Uh, so, you know, is that, it's all is in that the, hip. the slide? Okay. Mm -hmm. The slide's all in the hip. You got to lead. With oh, the not hip. the True. Yeah. inappropriate action I'm doing now. Okay, slide. No, yeah, no. That's maybe that's why I'm not a hunter because I just try to do this. Yeah. <laughs> that makes or sense. Or maybe you would just be a out. great hunter and we're terrified of your skills. Terrified of greatness. Absolutely. It's my weakest, yeah. it's my yeah. toxic trait. I'm terrified of I being too great. We're just going to be battling over which we'll help subclass. Me out here, okay, come on, man. <laughs> I know I just trash talked to Warlocks, but. Uh, I just so you guys know, like, I love you guys. Y'all are having fun. I'm really happy for you. Great, wonderful. Uh, but I am kicking you out after this one because, like, I, I, I got to play. I, I can't. I'm, like, super impatient. I got to play. Love you guys. You're pretty. I cherish you. You gotta go home. <laughs> we got to go. We got to go. We don't have to go home. But can't stay. <laughs> yeah, can't stay here. We gotta go. We're almost done. We're almost to that end. We gotta get that loot first. We gotta get that loot first. There's a button going up here. Oh, whoa! Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was cool. Oh, yeah. Lots of lightning. Oh, exploding oh, boys incoming. Boys. Oh, hey, can I hit you? Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, the turret's on the ceiling. Oh, there's nobody here. Oh, mm -hmm. punch. Mm -hmm. Second you got it. Exactly. You got so this. Oh, oh, I can't like reach for you. No! Yeah. No! Yeah. 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 Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what? This is a job for the Ooh. I thought you were rocking DMT for a second. Please. Oh, I, I was am. like, of course. Oh, <laughs> no. yeah, no, I, I'm back. I'm back. Oh, oh, no, we're oh, actually well. on Ellie. I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks so powerful. So I'm excited for Strand, though, too, with Lightfall. Like, every time, it was funny, because anybody, time anybody would ask me, like, give me a spoiler, give me a hint of what's coming. And I would just be like, Things. it's you and me, Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> And nobody knew what I was talking about. And the second they saw the grapple, they're like, oh, OK, I get it now. Stupid, but we get it. <laughs> There's at least a reason behind the joke. It's fine. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, you guys got this in the bag. So are we at the front? Looks like we are. We're at the final ball here. Yeah, we're coming onto it. Lots of fallen spinny swords. As we're kind of wrapping this up, last minute thoughts. What you guys think? Did you have fun? Did you uh, not put your best foot forward? <laughs> <laughs> the only did thing you that fun, feels... Did you not? <laughs> you know, I, have, I have a work-ordained reason to play video games during the day. I'm, <laughs> having, uh, I'm doing good, yeah. I love it. I love it. I'm just excited for my, my main warlock class All right. to be back. Oh, this is great. So don't I stop. Arc, I was Keep heading baby. to the bridge. Keep heading to the bridge. We're going to go ahead and start wrapping up because I want to play. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Leah, fire team? Yes. Yes. After this? Let's do it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Come on, D. All right. We're gonna we're gonna close we'll this let out. Let them keep heading to the bridge. <laughs> as much as I want to keep you here forever because you're a gem and we love you, we can't. We saw a lot of things today. We saw Ark. We saw Lightfall. We saw Joe's mustache. We saw a lot of beautiful things, and we're really excited. I thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. We know that we have. A lot. We threw a lot at you today. We threw Fortnite. We threw Fall Guys. We threw everything. Really excited. My auntie and uncle showed up. We auntie and uncle decided to crash the party. So before we do all that, we're going to tell people where they can find you because you're awesome and you're a gem. And I want people to know where you are. Well, my name is D Flows, and you can find me pretty much everywhere. Uh, streaming live, twitch.tv slash D underscore flawless. We stream pretty much every weekday. Um, and we also post funny videos on the internet, TikTok, Twitter, at The D Flawless. Go check them out. And just thank you guys, everyone here. Thank you so much for having me out. This has been amazing, seeing all the new things, seeing all the people. Like, I, my heart is full. It, our heart is full too, man. It was a pleasure. We got to have you back. You, you killed it. Yes. You crushed Anytime. it. Anytime. Anytime. <laughs> I can't wait to go into this new adventure with you. We're going to be okay pirate we're gonna be the world's okayest pirates i like that i, I like, like that. it before you guys join in remember that season 18 of season of the plunder is live now so like you should totally go play it but first before you go we have a couple things remember new and returning players we have the gift of the thunder gods which is going to make sure that you can jump into the action with no issues and some pretty swanky new gear and on top of that, we also have all of the expansions free for a limited time. So make sure you cash in on that. Make sure you got your Twitch drops. Make sure you got your entries in for giveaways. And before we kick it off, 
you know, we had a lot of love and chat. You guys have absolutely just been the most amazing community ever. We want to spread that love a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, introduce you to another amazing content creator. She goes by Pika. And I need you guys to really bring the noise in her chat. Tell her we said Hype hello. Tell her we love her. Tell her she's doing awesome with art, because we know she is. And uh, yeah, really, honestly, what are you still doing here? Yeah. Go, go play Season go of Go say Thunder. hi to Pika, go have fun.